Let's let them in. James is here first. Wow. You beat Carl. Hello. Hello. Carl, you beat him by just seconds. Hey, but it it matters. <laughs> some Not use it a track or anything, but you know. <laughs> some years ago there was some news story like uh like it was an election or something, and uh NBC News was advertising that they, they reported the story first. That was their big thing. They beat the other networks by like three seconds. <laughs> like, oh Jesus Christ, are we little kids? Yes, we are little kids. Hi Romero. Hey Susan, how are you? I don't see it showing up on the sandbox yet. I just put it. I, I knew oh, it. you did? Let me just refresh yeah. my. Two minutes ago. Or... <clears throat> I don't know if I did it correctly though. Is it what is it the cat? What is it you're working on? I'm working on uh, here. Uh, I'll send you the, the original, the current Facebook page or Wikipedia page. Yeah, why is it I don't see it? That's the original. And then uh, my sandbox, so if you want to see my sandbox. No, I'll find it right now because it just, I, maybe I don't have a bookmarked. Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This should be fun. Wow. And this is the one you're working on. I mean, this is the one that is being rewritten. Yeah. Okay. Let me go, let me go find your. I must not have you bookmarked. Let me see. Watch list, as I should say it. Romero, Romero. There you are. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I didn't have a bookmark. No wonder. Dun, da, da, da. Okay. You did it right. Okay. Are you gonna see? Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. Um talking to Susan right now. Here comes Terry. Um yeah, so it's um uh, I think they still has a lot of work there, but uh it's just we'll get that done. Hi Lee, is it Lee? Yes, hi. Hi, hi Susan. Nice hi. to see you. I am new to this. Um, Yay. welcome. How'd you find us? No what to expect really or how much i might suck at doing this but um... uh it's all right we all suck at this <laughs> uh you're in good company so how did you oh, find good. it oh let's see somebody i don't i don't remember um they gave me a password i didn't end up needing it i think it was on rfr uh, oh, so I don't rob palmer yeah uh, uh, rob palmer something might have it might have been his Friday um, morning group. Yep. I don't remember it honestly, but um, anyway, guess what I just got? I just went out to take out my trash, but it comes tomorrow. And I met my neighbor. I've been here five years. I just met her for the first time, and she had she insisted on giving me this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so. ah. It's all Filipino. Every single. What's in Tagalog? It's, is it, well, it's in Tagalog? That, it's a Filipino church, and every and there's tons of pictures of people, and every single one of them I looked through, and I said, oh, okay, I'll take it. I'm going to look just for curiosity. Every single person was Filipino in this huge church with, like, hundreds of people all dressed in, are all white here, and a few of them over here had blue on, and they have all their programmed style and everything. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've had a few people come from. I can tell I'm an atheist. Yeah, well, welcome. Uh, FFRF, they brought in the, there's a, we've got a couple groups that have really been proselytizing to come to trivia, and that's that group and uh, the Calgary skeptics. Oh, wow. We have more Calgary skeptics. Than I, oh, wow. I came from our, I, I also came from RFR. So oh, cool. another one here. Yeah, yeah. we've Would had, had several. Last? We were at the last one. We had what I never heard the term before, but we had the Zoom bomber. Oh, oh yeah. Common. We yeah, had, I've pretty. never had one, I don't think. I was in I another think. group where we got Zoom bomb with horrible yeah. music. Oh, and yeah. 
they won't show their face and they turn on this really horrible music really loud for like you know five seconds or less and then they then they leave and then you don't have enough time to block them the lady uh, the leader was having a really hard time trying to get rid of that person <laughs> bunch of kids you know i think i have the settings turned off i think well, when you come in, you're automatically, uh, your video is off and you're muted. So if somebody comes in, I can have my finger on that block button really quick if I, if I really wanted to, but nobody's. nobody's when I come in and I'm, my video is off, but I'm not muted. Well, when you come in, you're supposed to be muted. I'm not. No, when you walk in, you had to have been, no? No. Yeah, That's what I'm telling you. Video's off, but I'm not muted when I join. When you join, yeah. you're not muted? Mine yeah. was, but I can See, easily, no, my, I, I just unmute it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to figure out how, because I thought I had it set up so that you were muted as you entered. Yeah, that's no. a, uh, Get off. that's a setting you can do. But I have yeah, to wait until I start a new game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you can kick us all out. And you have it open so that anybody could come in. It yeah. looks like. But nobody's know. bothered. Well, it. and there's a yeah. waiting room though. So yeah, there's a waiting room, but yeah, eh, I'm not too worried. You about let that. everyone in. So what are we gonna? Say? Yeah, well, you don't know who they are. That what? The, what? Do uh, I don't care. Um. Yeah. So we need to uh, tell her how. Well, since we're we have some time because we've got people still arriving. Yeah. So let's tell her about the game and what to expect. Right. All right. So who wants to start? James does, I think. I'll start. Right, James. At the beginning, we'll uh, we'll socialize for a little bit, and then around seven thirty, seven forty or so, we're going. She'll send it. Send a different room. Well, she doesn't know room. what room she. What time zone is she in? Because seven thirty sounds pretty late. Oh, seven thirty p.m. Where are you? I'm uh, Lee, in California. Well, so okay. it's six thirty. Yeah, it's 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 ten after six here. Yeah, so about six thirty. Yeah, six thirty. Yeah. Um, um, where are you at in California? And, I'm in California. Oh, maybe uh, I know you. <laughs> I would love to meet you. I live in Concord in that. Uh, oh, you know, okay. area. I used to have to go up to Concord all the time for work. I used to go to the mall all the time. My boss lives up there. Mall? The Concord Mall. Yeah. yeah. I spent so much time uh, at that mall. Oh, my gosh. Okay, go uh, ahead. Go ahead, James. Okay. So at about 630, 640, we'll just send us in these breakout rooms and there'll be like four or five of us. We'll uh, come up with a team name and introduce ourselves, and then we'll go back into the main room where we'll have 10, five rounds of uh, 10 questions each. And we'll get, after we get to each round, we'll go back into our breakout rooms and we'll battle it out with our um, teammates. So, uh, and if you, do you don't know any that? of the answers, that's fine. You're still welcome. You, we all split up the, the uh, prize money ev evenly. <laughs> so, what do you mean so, that you go back and with and battle it out with your teammates? Uh, we, what is, I don't understand that. We go back into the uh, breakout room and we talk about the question. Okay, the question number one is, you know, whatever it is, and someone will say, "Well, I know that answer." Or sometimes, you know, we won't, and then we'll just figure out an answer for it. Sometimes it's uh, we have to just pull it out of uh, our hat. And Can I, uh, but. Oh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I was gonna. Well, I would. I wanted to help clarify the beginning. Is okay. it Lee or is it Lee or Lie? Lee. 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 Okay, Lee. So what happens is Susan will create breakout rooms, which are like smaller rooms. There might be four of us in a room, right. and then she'll send us to the breakout rooms, and we'll decide on a team name in our individual breakout rooms. Every Usually week, something every week, the different every people week. are in the groups. And there's never a same. Yeah, group. Nope. that's right. Different people okay. are in the groups, so you get to meet different people. And every week, we think of a new group name that's like related to the news or something silly or whatever. And then we come back into the main room and we share our group names. And then when we will do the just then, just like James said, he said we'll do the different trivia games. And different people make up the trivia games. And I just made up my first trivia game uh, I'm going to share tonight. And, and I'm totally like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so. This is our first game. I support you already. Yeah. I don't even know 
show you. <laughs> uh, so, and some of the games are really, really brainy and some of them are really, really fun. And, you know, yeah. So that's my two cents. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, hi, Leonard. Hi, After Leonard. the first hi. round, you'll figure it out. Hi, Faith. So tell me, somebody else told her, we're, we're telling Lee how to, what the game is like. What else? Carl has never missed a game, I don't think. Uh, what I is missed... that, Carl? What do you have behind you? Uh, I can't disclose what? that right now. So, so what we, oh. so for the first six months of this game, Lee, I wrote all the categories, and it's a lot of work to write six categories, five and a bonus. So, after a while, people who regularly play said, "I want to write a category," and I said, "Okay, go ahead and write a category." So we got to a point where now. Um, everybody takes turns. And so Terry's going to give her first category today. Uh, Carl is doing the bonus tonight. And then three other people who haven't arrived yet are doing categories. And what they, what happens is they read their 10 questions and all the questions go into the chat and you don't say anything while they're reading the questions. It's it, then you get into, then I put you in your breakout room and you discuss your 10 questions. And then when you're done, you come back to the main room and we reveal the answers. So, so Carl and Terry have categories tonight. I have no idea what their category is. So Carl will put something in his screen in the background that's going to have something to do with his category tonight. Or not. You never know. I might be. It could be, it could be nothing. nothing with you. They could be just fooling with us. Mm -hmm. But that's what they do. So something in his background may likely have something. So what happens is I play, like whenever it's Terry's turn to read her category, I play in Terry's team. And then when it's Carl's turn to play, read his category, I play on Carl's team and they're all different. So you'll see, it's not that hard, but you have you used breakout rooms before? Yeah. Okay. But then not to play fine. a game. Just It'll to be talk. fine. Yeah, that's all it yeah. is. And I talking. saw the categories on the Facebook there. It's like over a hundred. I don't know. I didn't count them, but a lot. There is a lot. I'm glad you saw that because we've done just about everything. We've had wild, crazy things. We've had simple things. I mean, we've had categories on eggs, categories on stars. I mean, I can't even, every time they come up with a category, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that we haven't, I'm like, oh, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> Look at Larry and Leonard just kicking back over wow. here. Here comes, here comes the chickens. Here they come. Bob's coming, Julie and Jeff. Bob always comes with chickens. And Flockmeister. Yeah, watch here. They come in. Some of these people have been playing since the beginning, and some of these people have only been playing a few months. Hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. Where's Julie? Hey. Um, she is currently um, upstairs, just kind of doing her own thing. She needed some. Okay. Breathing time. She's breathing. Oh, she's, she's breathing. Uh, you know, it's one of those, it's one of those like work's been pretty hard. So she needs some time to herself. I can totally relate to that. <laughs> I don't remember those days. Look at Leonard's here. He's doing well. He had he had uh his second hip replaced. Look at him kicking back. Him and Larry, look at that. Yeah, oh I'm, gosh, I'm just, I'm just lying on the couch. Like I'm lying on the couch. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah, I uh, the physical therapist was here um, about an hour ago, and we uh, went out for a walk, Ooh, which I nice. which I was not expecting. <laughs> and my uh, my leg is letting me know that that is uh, an unaccustomed amount of exercise. He's in <laughs> he's in Palo Alto, or where are you at? Stanford, Palo Alto. Yeah, Palo Alto. So Lee, Lee's in Concord. Yeah. So that's good. And uh, Bob is, where's his chickens? Here's Vincent. Oh, here's Rob. Rob, one of your people you brought. You brought one of your yeah. people. Hi, Rob. Is there anybody here that's not in the US? Uh, yeah, there's. Hi, Vincent. Hi, Alan. Hello. Hi, Bob. Uh, Vincent and Larry are in Calgary. Yep. Yeah. And oh, let's see who else is here that's not. Um, Alan, well, when Avi gets here, he'll be, in, he's Canadian. We sometimes have Richard Saunders from Australia, Sydney, Australia, and the time zone makes a difference for other people to 
to from Europe from here. But when we play on Saturdays, which hasn't I haven't done in a long time, we'd play like a Saturday morning, and then people would come in from um, Europe. They'd play or other time zones, you know. What, yeah, what, time, what time is it in in California now? Six six fifteen. Six fifteen. Six seventeen to be exact. I mean, even being just on the east coast of the U.S., if I wasn't retired, I couldn't play this game. Mm -hmm. I work from home on Friday, so I can. Oh, <laughs> it, it wouldn't have mattered. There's no way I'd be able to get up at any normal work hour after after this game. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited that when I drive Sarah in a couple of weeks to Sacramento, that maybe we're arriving on on Thursday. So I'll see if I can't get in a few minutes early to uh, to. Um, to this thing without having is that where she's going to be is in sacramento because you, you had said california but you didn't say where no, she's going to sacramento what part of sacramento uh Ain't downtown sacramento. i have okay. no i have no idea how big is sacramento i don't know um <laughs> how big is Sac it's the capital million. of california about, about that big. have you seen have you seen how big california is? yeah um i you know what i don't know why are you driving uh, today? well we gotta take her car Oh, so, so I'm driving her and flying home, and Debbie's going to join us there for a stay for a couple of days. Ooh, so, but, but, so I so I told her, well, she can play uh, she can play trivia now with you guys. Yeah, but, yeah. Except that her girlfriend goes to a trivia night uh, every Thursday night. So uh, so I'll, if it snows, I'll tell her that she can stay home and join you guys. They don't snow in Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> it's already summer here. Yeah, 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 I've got my green. garden almost completely planted. I'm almost completely done out there in that garden. It's beautiful out right now. Where's the chickens, Bob? Where's Mim Where Mim and Max? Yeah. All right. Min Min with an N. Min. Min. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was gonna say it's mud season here. Nobody Hi, people. I'm going to have to let you guys go. Uh something has come up, but oh. I'll be on later. So okay, bye Vincent. Wherever. How are you doing, Leonard? Oh Pretty my good. God, we're going to hear this. I was on the Zoom call last night for the very skeptics, and every time somebody would sign on, they had to ask Leonard how he's doing. Oh, and then the next person would sign on, and then the next person had it was like, <laughs> Well, I don't should, so you, should, you should put Let, an announcement in that little thing you see about you washing your hands that. Leonard, Leonard will make an announcement. Well. He went for a walk today. His physical therapist took us out him out for a walk today, and he's really tired. He's laying on the couch right now, but he's doing well otherwise. Right? Right. Well, he Leonard said that he Thank wasn't you. sure he'd be here with us this week. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Is that Max? Min. Oh, that's Min. Look at her. Look at her comb. Oh, don't you look tiny. pretty? It's tiny. Her waddles are tiny. Her ears, you can barely see them. Her little red ear earlobes. Huh? Yeah, and next, behind her eye, there's little red fleshy things. Those are the earlobes. They're tiny. Okay, that you might even Max call them minimal. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Min. Yeah. So Max is coming over because he doesn't like to be. He wants to stay with her, so he's making his way over, and he'll if you keep an eye. He'll jump up. He'll come in on the floor, and then he'll jump up onto this knee. See, Lee, I, was oh. I wasn't kidding. He's really got chickens there. We're an odd bun. Where's, where's your daughter today? She got her computer set up or what happened, Bob? Oh, she's, she, want, she needs a new phone. It kept, the old one kept cutting out and she had planned to get one, but she hasn't got it yet. Oh, I thought she'd have it by this. So week. when she, yeah, yeah, when she gets her new phone and, and if she's not too tired, because she does put in a, you know, a long work day. So, but yeah, when she gets her new phone, she'll come back. She enjoys it. Okay, good. That's good to hear. Uh, uh, Caspian's here, but I guess he's disorganizing himself. We just had lunch. We went to lunch together. So he's here somewhere. I guess he's organizing. Faith and Romero's up there in the corner. Where's the video at? Come on. Come on. Um, Jamie's supposed to be here. He's got the first category, so he better hurry up and get here. Oh, he'll be from Thailand if Jamie shows up, which he better. <laughs> I think Thailand uh, qualifies as a different country. Yeah, I think that qualifies. Yeah, I think so. Ready? 
And confirm. Oh, here comes, here comes, yeah, you bet. Come is on, Matt. Carl, Carl doing a category? Uh-huh. Maybe. He's got bonus. What is that? He thinks about it for a minute. Let's see. He's got is a, he jumping? What the hell is that building? He's got to set up his launch. Come on. Mm, it was more impressive than uh, the room they hold in NATO Congress. Here he comes. Here he comes. Mm. He's going to do it. There he is. There you are. Oh, yeah, totally uh, different. Yeah, like that's Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Oh, cute. What a cutie. Janine will be here in a little bit. She's she's putting up birdhouses, she told me. Now, Janine is in Oregon, and she, if when it, the weather's hot, she'll sit outside with her laptop, and then there's chickens walking behind her. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, the chickens. It's so funny. I love chickens. Hi, Max. How are you, Max? Ooh. He gets all upset. He's fluffing. He's just fluffing up. It's kind of, you know, adjusting your clothes or yeah. It's gonna get comfortable. Can't blame him. Okay. Time is at 6.23. They'll all start showing up here in a few minutes. Who am I looking at? We've played every Thursday for almost 100 games. Today is game 99. 99. Ooh. Wow. That's a good number. Yeah. Every Thursday, even, even holidays, we've been here. Wow. It's been a blast. Well, I'll just say I'm not sure how much I can come to this. Um, I just got this. Well, it's very part time, but I just got this job working for somebody, and she's kind of needs me to just be as flexible as I can be. So, oh, um, well, you show up as much as you want. As oh, hey, leave hey. halfway through, it doesn't really. It's it's great to see everybody when we can see them, and I'm happy that people are here. Lee, where are you? Um, I'm in California, uh, in, in the Bay Area, kind of near Sacramento. Uh, yeah, I've met Lee. Hi, Lee. Yeah, I remember you, Bob, from, yep. I don't know, wherever, one okay. of the RFR things. Friday <laughs> hangout. Was it, was it the Friday? You might have been the one who told me about this. I'm not sure, but I don't yeah, remember. I so. uh, oh, I'm pretty, sure, pretty sure that was me. I might have referred you to Rob. Here yeah. comes Vincent back again. I don't remember. It came up. I remember it came up. <laughs> what do you guys say? What are you talking about? What do you guys say? Do you, here comes Jamie. Do they say, hey, so you look fun. Come play trivia with us. Or do you say, if you got nothing to do. Well, occasionally during the hangout, which I run occasionally, I was doing it for a long period of time, weeks in a row. Uh, if the conversation lagged, I actually would pull out some of the categories I did and do some trivia with them. And so, oh. pe so people who seem to like it, I told them about your game. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That's a good idea. Yeah. I have everybody yeah. here. Jamie's here. Hi. Uh, I don't think the more it. Hi, Jamie. Our Asian, our Asian contingent has arrived. So, Jamie, your last name is Knapp, right? Yes. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I know the K is silent. <laughs> yeah. Like the shoes. So, Jamie's in uh, Thailand and Avi's in Canada. Yes. Until he moves to Germany. Yes. Yeah, we'll join us anyway. Yeah, Avi's in the bad part of Canada, though. I just yeah. had to just. Put that <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we knew, Jamie, we, we knew uh, no. a guy named Nap with two P's and an E. We oh. pronounce it Canapy. Oh, Canopy. No. Canopy. It's Nap. Nap. Actually, um, actually, my name, actually, our name isn't really Nap. What happened was. Um, my father was an artist in New York City in the 1950s for television. And he was blacklisted by McCarthy. And his name was Cohen. So he oh. changed his name to Knapp in order to disguise the fact that he was Jewish and he got his, his job back. Oh, you're so, kidding. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a terrible time in the 50s. So our name really is a Knapp, but my father thought of a name which um, yeah, you know, we'll disguise the fact that we're Jewish. That's why yeah, my name is Jamie. Here. It's not a Jewish name. My father did that intentionally. Hmm. Hmm. I had when, no we, when we named, when we, I told one of uh, one of Avi's aunts uh, his, when we when Avi was born, and we, you know, I like the name Avi, so you know, it's Avram. So we uh, yeah. we named, you know, we named him uh, Avi. She said, oh. If people will if that kind, people will think he's Jewish. We said, "Well, because he is." <laughs> I know. See yeah. when um 
yeah it's Year, like years ago uh, so years ago our son uh, was born in israel we lived in israel during the 80s and when we had our son there we named him warren and warren. we did it because um people in israel couldn't pronounce the w sound they say wagen so just to give people a hard time we gave him a name <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what that like that's like uh, susan don't you what People say coming up with names that, that are hard to pronounce. Oh, they do that to me. They, yeah, Lee, they, they tease me. There's going to be a lot of, okay, I should let you know this. There's a lot of teasing that goes on and nobody's going to direct anything at you until they know they, they know you well. But I get a lot of teasing, a lot of jokes. There's a lot of inside jokes. You guys be kind, not too many inside jokes today. Um, and uh, Just they give interrupt. Me a heads up. Give me a heads up. That's a joke. Okay, yeah. Well, they're all jokes. <laughs> So put it, put it in the chat. All right, you're all a bunch it's of it's all jokes. social trivia. The word social is before the word trivia because we're just we're all friends here, even if we don't know, even if we don't like each other. I'm just gonna figure that every one of you, you're all a bunch of jokers. There you go. Leave Matt, uh, Matt, Avi, Avi, I love your headgear. You can put it on, it's on uh, Zoom. Hey Lee, put it on yeah. gallery view, you'll see a bunch of jokes. <laughs> uh, well, she should be on gallery. Are you on Speaking gallery? Of the, 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 no, um, I, I'm in, uh, I got this. Yeah, the, I'm in gallery. The, I got the weirdest email from a student. Uh, I will read it to you in full. It's very short. Hello. It is currently 2 a.m. I cannot sleep without knowing the reason for this week's web work for 1600 not being open. I am craving to finish it ASAP before I. I suffer from filing my taxes. Best was the student's name. What? It's in their email. I don't that really understand. Like, that sounds like that got through a spam filter. Yeah, I'd say it yeah. sounds like it. You know, if, uh, yeah. from something from. Uh, Is this from, a student you're teaching? Yes. What course are you teaching the student? Um, linear I algebra. Grammar. Yes. Yeah, this, no. this it, it sounded like you know taxes or something. Yeah. It, no, this is, hmm. uh, I mean, he mentioned things like, I, he specifically referenced something that I had forgotten to do. And so, but it, like he was emailing it to me at 2 a.m. in the morning saying he could not sleep without knowing the reason why I hadn't done this thing. So how were you supposed to know at 2 in the morning that the message came in and you better answer exactly. it right away so he yeah. could go to sleep? I I well, no he, idea. It, if it upset him so much that he couldn't sleep, it must have upset Avi at least that much. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so no Avi was supposed to, he was expecting that Avi was going to wake up when the email came through and say, oh, this poor person cannot possibly sleep. I must. Have you talked to him since? I don't even know how to respond to that email. It's, it honestly sounds like something that either this person was so sleep deprived at 2 a.m. in the morning that this was the, Correct, he thought it was the correct email to send, they thought it was the correct email to send me, or they were drunk and thought it was the correct email to send me. Because I think this was the, I think this was the night of Saint, Saint Patrick's Day. So you know, uh, they're uh, the widow of a Nigerian prince. That's pretty typical, Grant. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Give me Terry Count. Okay, so, Evans here. Abby, how come we don't call you Professor Abby? Professor. Uh, you can call me Doctor Abby. <laughs> Doctor, you're oh, a doctor. I'm not calling him doctor. Oh, he, I, he has a my PhD. son, the do my son, the doctor. Yes, he's got a PhD in mathematics <laughs> or something. Uh -huh. I don't know, some, he looks smart with that little sprout on his head, doesn't he? <laughs> little sprout. No, oh, from the we, know part of we, know so we know something's going on up there. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. It's Hi, Kevin. Oh, Hi, Karen. Doctor. Hi, Jane. Hi. I gotta change. I'm kidding, Abby. I've never been to Ottawa, so I wouldn't. Know. I've I have never been to Ottawa either. So oh, where so are I, you? I'm in I am I'm in London, Ontario. So near London. Toronto. Oh, okay. Never been there either. Neither have I. Yeah. I've been to London. Nice. I've seen London. I've seen France. Oh. I've the farthest <laughs> I've been to the east is Drumheller. I thought Drumheller's in Quebec. Isn't that, that isn't oh, where the hell's Drum Heller? It was, it was Drum Heller is kind seventh of, grade geography. I don't remember. Drum Heller is kind of east of Calgary in a in a sense, kind of east and north. 
That's as far so, east as you've been? That's as far east as I've been. Amy, yeah. is uh, Gail showing up? I don't know. I hope so. Well, you're Everyone. first. So she better get her herself here soon. You know you're first, right? Oh, I am? Okay. Good. Three. Drum Heller is where they have all of the dinosaur bones. Yeah, yeah. All okay. of them? Yeah, all of them. Well, yeah. anywhere in the world you find dinosaur Everyone. bones. Dinosaur, the uh, most dinosaur bones in most? the whole wide world. Yeah. I well, yeah, but, but they're only 5,000 years old. <laughs> 5,000 years old? Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four right there. There's one, uh, there's one, there's one place, I think, in Alberta that is a Christian thing to where you go in and they say that humans lived amongst the dinosaurs, I think. So, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. That's, That's down south. Well, is it? Alberta, I don't know where Alberta, it is. Alberta is the Alberta is the Colorado of uh, of uh, of Canada. So they, they Al Alberta is the Arkansas of Canada. Uh, hey, don't be talking about Arkansas. I think Alberta is today. Good Arkansas, lovely. Place. Karen, what are you wearing um, on your? Is that, is that a Zoom later. thing? That's a Zoom thing. There's uh there's uh, uh oh, Calgary that. thing happening. That's wild. She can put blue lips. I decided not to join it because uh, I don't know. I don't really <laughs> care about. I don't really care about the subject. So. Okay, here we go. Okay, go to your rooms. Be very nice. Very polite. Be good to each other, and other people will join too. So don't be surprised if there's only three people in your room. Pauses, puppy. I got bounced too early. Crap. Oh, and now you're gonna be forced to talk to me. No, but the, we were just voting on a on a name, so now I'm back. Too, too late. The countdown was going. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you get for sitting or chit chatting. That's what I get. Yeah. Oh well. All right, they'll pick something, whatever it is. What'd you come up with, Jeff? Did you vote? First one. Yeah, we just decided to go with the first one. It's okay. Fine. Okay. I think I was trying to hit the share screen button and I actually hit uh, the mouse might have taken the focus to leave the oh, room. Oh, yeah, it does that. I think that's what happened there. Who's who's doing cat the first category? Jamie? Oh, I am. Nice. Grove. It's Grove. Papaya is gross now. Yeah. I am so ashamed of uh, our team name. Yeah, Karen, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Karen, Karen, I think that's gorgeous. I think it's I think it's your look. Oh, oh they right can do that. They can do that, eh? You put it on your Zoom. Yeah. Huh. I oh, almost, yeah, nice. You pulled me back here just when I was boring my uh, team with a story. Oh, well, you can go back and bore them <laughs> in the next round. Don't and, worry. Uh, Leonard, I'm back and bore people in the next round. Oh, <laughs> hold on. And Leonard, I'm only joking about uh, saying that obviously I'm, I'm, the bad part of Canada, I, I, there is really no bad part or good part. Oh, oh. Is, he's, he's covering his most he's case just, case he's covering, possibly Leonard, he's covering his ass. The Westerners can't stand me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live in, I live in Ontario. apologizing for saying any of Canada might be less good than any other part of Canada uh, and apologizing it's, it's, about that. No, Toronto That's is the most Canadian thing I've ever to, heard. To Canada, Toronto is the equivalent of New York. Everybody hates Toronto. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, no. I've never been there. So I I'd would go. And he's from London, Ontario, anyway. So no, I'm from I'm from Toronto. <laughs> I'm from Toronto. I'm a yeah. everybody. I'm, I'm, a... I'm putting on lipstick, so I'm putting on lipstick. So in other words, you're reprehensible. Is what you're I am. Well, I am. Kind of blue. <laughs> I resemble Our, that remark. Yeah, we, we right. call we call their baseball team the Blow Jays. That's right. Uh, <laughs> oh. Jays. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're back, and we're back, and we're back. <laughs>
So we have a new uh, person playing for the very first time. Everybody say hi to Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi. hi. So we have to be very hi. nice hi. Lee, and put be your best Lee? selves today. Oh, I, I see. Hi, Lee. Hi, yeah. Hi, and, yeah. Remember hi. that. Yeah, remember that, Susan. I remember that. And we have Terry's doing her very first category tonight. So we have Ooh. extra nice. Remember the second time she does a category, you can let her have it. But the was first Terry, time was, was Terry's uh, questions run by uh, Saunders. No. <laughs> oh, then they <laughs> no, might be good. Then we're okay. They might be good. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do our team names. So for team number one, it's Avi, Jamie, Jeff, Julie, and Rob. Well, I assume Julie's coming, but I have Julie on the list. Okay. So who's? What are you guys playing as tonight? I like it. I like it. Is the name I like it? Masculinity. Masculinity. <laughs> what? I'm stealing toxic that one. What? Toxic like masculinity. 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 I am so stealing that one. Toxic toxic lisping, like you're lisping, Susan. Toxic <laughs> masculinity. <laughs> I'm going to math explain you. I'm going to have Karen and Charlie. You're going to get math explained. <laughs> math explained. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense, sort of. All right, next we have Alan, James, Jane, Terry, and Mike. Who are you? Who's, who's, who are we here? It's silent. The sound of silence. It's, it's, we it's, are it's, James. It. James, that's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. James, that's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. Okay. Is James on team two? Yeah. yeah. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. Is it not Mount Fuji? And was James saying it was? No. So, and room number three. Um, let me make sure I got this right. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, dude. Caspian's going to be doing a category tonight. So that's Caspian, Larry, Leonard, and Janine. We are occasionally evil. Uh, okay, occasionally evil. Like, that's cool, I guess. Occasionally, okay, only occasionally. Uh, special occasion. Occasionally. Caspian, how come your video's off? I'm trying to preserve my bandwidth. Oh, you're having problems, huh? Theme. Another team name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bob, Kevin, Lee, and Vincent. What's your team name? I am so embarrassed and I am so sorry. Is that it? I am no. so embarrassed. I'm no, so this no. is what it is. That effing bitch Susan said, <laughs> Who came up with that? <laughs> oh, I helped. <laughs> it's funny because. It was a group Susan effort. It's funny because Susan is so not an F and I know, exactly. <laughs> yeah, That's what makes it funny. That's what I, oh, that's what I you're said. really, you're really putting this, making me, making oh. this team. This so, so, it, it was well, hard. Hard. We you all might, came up with it. Think, it was just going to be Thomas that. John might have a different opinion. <laughs> it was just going to be that bitch, Susan, but Lee came up with the F and pot. Oh, <laughs> you're going to fit right in. And, and, and you got to know that. I think you're great. So it's, it's yeah. Well, you haven't had a whole totally game fun. with me. <laughs> you don't know me that even, well. Even well, wait till she talks you out of a out of a answer. Mm -hmm. well, even <laughs> that, I come into the room and I talk you out of the answer, and I do it with confidence, as if I know the answer. <laughs> even the effing part was not exactly quite what it was. Either. I appreciate that. I'm <laughs> sure. I'm sure. We'll we'll that our that answers. That we reflects not you. on Susan, but on the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, we were laughing very right. hard. Okay, uh, I'll live with that. We're just showing the team, the theme of here. Okay, and last but not least, Faith and Romero, Karen and Carl, for the moment. Who farted? Who farted? Oh. Oh. oh, who farted? Oh. Oh. That's a horse's name. My favorite oh. horse name. That's a horse's name. Oh, that's, that's awful. Funny. And that's also a winning team's name. Yeah, we don't know who's going to be on. The, we we don't shall know see. Who. Somebody, some group somewhere is going to just be soaring away and everybody's going to hate them because they're all, they're, they're way ahead. Here comes Gail, by the way. So we're going to have toxic math, <laughs> toxic math. I forgot how to say it. Max, to toxic masculinity. Math, oh yeah, masculinity. Okay, toxic math. 
Thanks, Sylvester. <laughs> this is going to be a long Somebody night. This is one of the like you a long night. Toxic, toxic math. math. Toxic math. Scalidity. <laughs> uh, versus James. That's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. Versus occasionally <laughs> evil. Versus that effing bitch Susan said we have to be nice. Versus hoof hearted. Whew. Hearted. Okay, and Gail's here. Hi, Gail. Hi. I'll put you on a team. And uh, there we are about to do the first and category. And I'm glad crazy. you got here just in time to see your brother who is going to do the first category. So we're on oh, game number 99, that. season two, episode number 42. 42. Thank you very much. And 55. we're going to have tonight, we have Jamie leading off, Terry in round two, who's having her first, first ever category. Then we take a break for about five minutes. And then it's Caspian. And then it is Kevin. And then we're going to follow that up round five with a bonus round from Carl with a K. So they say. All right. Jamie, you have your powers. He's going to, oh, oh I need to make, who's our, who's our muter tonight? Who's our official muter? Who's got muterist? A muterist? Yeah, let's see. Here, I'll make it Alan since he had to say something. Uh, so Alan's a muterist tonight. Thailand. Ooh. So now the way it works is nobody says anything while they're reading out the questions. The questions go into the chat. And last, what you're saying is really funny. Um, then you can unmute yourself. But other than that, don't ask any questions because the questions might reveal or help somebody else out with an answer. So this is okay. I'm set. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. I have not gotten, I have not been given the powers to. You have the powers. Where? I gave them to you. Where are they? They're, I, I, they're, they're, look, some, look where your powers are. It says co host. You're co host. I see it. You have it. Is it on the bottom <clears throat> or is it on the top? Go go oh. to part, click on the little arrow next to participants. And you should have breakout rooms and all that enabled. No. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I got breakouts, but where's where's the shut up thing? <laughs> <laughs> click click participants, not the up arrow, the whole word participants, and then at the bottom of that screen it says mute everybody or something like that. I can't see that. But. Three to one. Three to one. Three to one. Okay. And don't forget to unmute yourself, Jamie. Okay, is everybody set? Yeah. You have to mute yourself, Alan, because it doesn't mute the person who did it. Okay. We don't tell, want to me if, um, tell me if- Beautiful. Is the image? Yeah, oh, it's it, colorful. Okay, so the image is there. So um, many of you might've guessed that for the fact that I've lived here for five years, that my topic is gonna to be um, some trivia about Thailand. Okay. <gasps> it's not? Okay, so let me start. Wait, wait, pause for a second, because here comes Deborah. That way she'll be able to hear the first question. Okay. She's signing in right now. Okay, let's... Okay. <clears throat> Deborah, okay, here? Okay. Take... Okay, so you should be able to go. Okay, question number one. Let me paste this in. Okay. The modern region known as Thailand was inhabited by multiple groups for well over 20,000 years. The Thai people migrated to this land from Southern China around 600 AD. They're known by the Sanskrit term Siamese. What does Siamese mean? The Siamese mean A, strong, proud people. B, strange language people. C, spicy cuisine people, D, dark-skinned people, or E, long-fingered people. Okay. Oops, hold on. Okay, number two. Let's paste it in. Okay, number two. Thailand is famously known as the land of what? Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Number three. Okay, number three. Southeast Asian countries experienced extensive Western colonization throughout many past centuries. Spain colonized the Philippines in the 16th century. The Dutch ruled over Indonesia starting in the 17th century. Thailand was colonized by whom? Number four. King Rama IX reigned for 70 years from 1946 to 2016. He was a brilliant, benevolent leader adored by the people. He was not born in Thailand, but rather in the USA, being the only foreign monarch in history born on American soil. He comes from A, San Francisco, California, B, LA, C, Chicago, D, Boston, or E, Brooklyn, New York. Okay, let's see. Okay, number five. The world famous Siamese twins, Chang and Eng, were conjoined brothers who traveled with P.T. Barnum in the, 19th, in the 1860s alongside Zip the Pinhead. They were connected to each other at what body part? A, their heads, B, their shoulders or upper arms, C, their chests, sternum, D, their lower abdomens, or E, their pelvis. Okay, number six. <clears throat> Number six, Thai cuisine is famously delicious and consists of five main contrasting flavors. Sweet, spicy, creamy, salty, and blank. Number seven, Siamese cats which are native to Thailand, are known there as Wichi and Mat. Wichi and Mat translates to the following. A, moon diamond. B, loud lions. C, temple masters. D, sapphire eyes. Or E, royal soul. Okay, number eight. Number eight. A popular world famous drink has its origins in Thailand since the 1970s. What drink is this? Okay, number nine. Thailand is a heavily industrialized, technically advanced modern nation. Some industries include textiles and garments, plastics and chemicals, electronics and computer technologies, furniture, jewelry, rubber, food and agricultural products, and more. It has a huge automotive industry. In 2005, Thailand surpassed the USA as the world's largest manufacturer of one-ton pickup trucks. Thailand is often called the blank of Asia. Number 10. This world famous American athlete has a Thai mother. Who is this? And we have a bonus. Okay. 
pay the bonus. Lay's potato chips are very popular in Thailand with 46 different flavors appearing on store shelves. Sorry about that. Lay's potato chips are very popular in Thailand with 46 different flavors appearing on store shelves. Which one of the following is not one of those flavors? A, grilled prawns oh with seafood sauce. <laughs> B, salted egg. C, forest mushroom. D, spicy lobster. E, honey butter. F, Kentucky fried chicken. Or G, icy lemon. Oh my God, that means all the others are. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's insane how many laced potato chips there are. Oh my! That's God. all, folks. Hey, Jamie, question. Uh, in yeah. in in uh, uh, ten, I yes. don't know if you can answer if you can if you can say this. Is it someone who is currently an active uh, athlete or is just a well known? What a good question you asked, Jamie. It was just perfectly worded and <laughs> entirely adequate. Okay. You were going to get that answer, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> Karen knows it. Should I, should I, should I respond? I, or? I try, though. La, la, la. I la, 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 You should respond if you, if you want to. Uh, yes. If you feel like don't respond. Okay, Karen might know it. I'll keep the wording as is. Okay. Okay. So, very interesting. One of the best parts of this social trivia, not only is to see your guys' is all awesome little faces all every week, but be, we learn stuff. So, this will be interesting. Hey, Rob, okay. I saw that. All right. So, fantastic. Uh, Jamie, do you want to send us to our rooms? Me? Sure. How do I do this? I, I, That's I, I, the I, whole, if you don't know how to do it, then you're definitely going to be doing it. <laughs> go to breakout rooms and open breakout room so i go to participants i'm using an ipad uh oh, it should be, say breakout rooms and a little thing at the bottom it says breakout rooms oh, oh shit the bottom be, center and it might be an ellipsis which says more mm -hmm. maybe what are minimize the arrow thing i have minimized me Oh, jeez. How do I do a breakout right. rooms? Okay, well, <laughs> Alan will send us. Alan send us. Yeah, Alan, I'm using an iPad. I don't think I have... Um, it might be I, some I don't, weird place. It might, be, it might be in an odd space. Alan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. He did it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I've got to put Gail, and I need to put Deborah. Okay, so and Susan, before you put me, uh huh. Um, before we leave today, I need to talk to you because I have a favor to ask of you. Sure, of course. Um, <laughs> let's put you right one, two. Let's put you over here. So Gail's going to go. You're going on hoof hearted. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah in there because that's more her line of ridiculous stuff just um oh thanks <laughs> deborah's going in that f and bitch susan said we have to be nice oh good i like that one. that's that's fitting okay and jamie you know how to get around right no i don't you're okay so you go to where it says um breakout rooms see i don't have that on my on my ipad i can't okay. find breakout rooms okay do you see where it says uh, more and it has three dots Yep, I have that. Okay, if you click on that, it should have breakout rooms in there. It's not there. I have meeting settings, security, minimize meeting. No, I don't have control. Minimize meeting. Those sound like controls that aren't usable. Do you have share screen, chat, participants? Yes. I have oh. yeah, participants, share screen. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have share screen, I have participants. But there's no, um, yeah, I have no, nothing that says, I have control over anything. Interesting. Weird. Okay, so you can go to your room now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fling you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that means you can go to your room. So go to your first room, which is your main room. And then periodically, I'm going to just move you from room to room. That'll be fun. Okay. okay? <clears throat> fun. So go to your first room, which is where I'm going to go anyway. I wonder if it's the 90s. 
Yeah, it's been. Yeah, Susan, I, so I know, I'd never heard of bubble tea until. Susan, do you know I any of them? I, I can I can make something up. I'm sure. No, do you know any of them? <laughs> no, I was thinking. Okay, hold on a second. I was just concentrating on Jamie. Jamie's going to be flung from room to room. So you guys can help me really okay. fling him. So so I must have a he can't diversion. find his breakout rooms on the on the screen, which is really strange because he's got his powers. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I don't have an That's iPad. Weird. I can look on my phone, except I'm not on the service on my phone. Okay, so okay. I need to go to... Show me where you want. Okay, so I need to go to breakout rooms here, and I'm going to fling you. So you may be in middle conversation okay. with somebody, and all of a sudden you're moved to another room, so... Okay. Um, according <laughs> to... Um, Okay, uh, Susan. As okay, of, so now it's my turn. You're asking me questions. Um, right? Susan, as of um, a post on in 2021 in September, breakout rooms cannot be managed from iOS. Oh, there we go. Be true oh, anymore. well, there you ah. go. Okay, so I'll just wow. remind me every couple of minutes to fling him to another room. Wow. So go Good. to the top. Okay, so no idea. Um, okay, let's put it again. Up, wait, let's no, put it I got some one because it's multiple choice. Let's just do it. What is it? Probably A. Well, so we were discussing this before you got here. It's depending, if they name themselves that, then that would yeah. go with A. If, oh, the, if, if the people they came from named them that, then I would say strange language people because the language- Yeah, I think, I think Sanskrit is not, nat like it was not native to Thailand when Thailand was, you know, sort of brought into the fold of, of other, of, like international more international cultures like sanskrit i don't think is is from thailand originally so do you think it was maybe a disparaging thing that the language is strange it could be it also could be like something like long-fingered people like it's just meant to be a that's well you, you seem to remember that from somewhere i've never heard that that seems so weird i know that someone's historic name translates to long fingered people for some reason. And I don't know well, why. If you if you if you really remember remembering that and it's not just something that looks good I right mean now, you know, then maybe be... that's a good guess because where else would he have gotten that? Yeah. Let's put it there for now. Okay. Um, for two, maybe it's that it's famously known as the land of the long fingered people. <laughs> <laughs> that would be I don't think think of, um uh, it's not beaches. The land of bitches. <laughs> or that. No, it couldn't be beaches. How about yeah. um the land of the nest. coconuts? Yeah. They have an awful lot of coconuts there, right? Land of mm. it could be something like elegancy or something, or or the land of sunshine. It could be something like that, not of a tangible thing. Yeah. I just took him from room five and threw him into four. I have no idea if he was speaking to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my favorite part, flinging Jamie around. I don't know. This is going to be a wild guess if none of us has a clue. I suggest we go on. It's famously, okay, so number Let's three. Let's put coconuts for right now. Okay. 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 So I, I'm fine with that. Country's experience. Uh, was it British? I don't know if, like, I know that. Could be. Vietnam, which is very close by, was French. Was it Portugal? Could have been Portugal, but I don't know. <sighs> Fuck. Another guess. Okay, Portugal. Okay, now this number four, Caspian came back from Thailand, and we had a long chat about the uh -huh. king, but yeah. it was not the, the king that they're talking about here. It's uh -huh. the current king, and he's probably one of the most wealthiest people in the world, he said. Uh -huh. So um i'm not thinking it is san francisco or la because i've never heard of it and that's california so i, I think it's probably new york or boston i've never heard of this so why not chicago avi have you heard of him nope. have you ever heard of this king that had been in no. in this Ch is, chicago this is like the king ralph thing right where, where john goodman is an american who like the whole british family electrocutes themselves and he becomes the king I did watch the, the trailer for that, by the way, because you guys mentioned it. Oh. So I think it's I think it's Brooklyn. Only oh, because I, it's a huge place and I grew up there and never heard this. So okay, well then maybe Massachusetts. 
I mean, it really could be Chicago. Chicago's really big. It could be that too. I mean, I, I yeah, don't know. That's, that's, that's is a wild guess. Let's go with that. That's just yeah. gonna be okay. I'm gonna fling him. Uh, five. <laughs> five. What's five? Siamese twins, where were they connected? At? Oh, oh, no, this I do know. I, re- well, I read the wasn't book. That, wasn't that the lower abdomen? C. The chest? Oh, is that the chest? That high? They were like right here. And there was like right about this oh, area. So I think it was sternum. Jeez, I thought it was a little lower than that. Well, sternum would be like here in the center of your chest. Yeah, I'm not thinking it was that. I don't think it was the center of their chest, was it? It was on the side. Lower abdomen would have been. Side. Lower yeah, abdomen. I thought it was right here. Yeah, That's and that would be abdomen. lower abdomen. Yeah, I think yeah. I think. But the word sternum sounds so familiar to me, and, is, and it just stretched over time. It was sternum is right here. Okay, yeah, it's very near the blood. liver. Is it near the liver? No, it's sternum. the center. No, the sternum is your 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 breastplate bone. Okay, yeah. where's the one that connect your ribs? Is the abdomen near the liver? The abdomen yeah. is your whole yeah. center section. Yeah, lower abdomen and the liver are close to each. Are closer it's your abs center. are it's closer than your chest. It's where your abs are. So when someone has a six pack, uh huh, your your liver is very near that. I think out of these, like speaking as somebody who took anatomy in college, I will say lower abdomen is the closest thing if you're talking about this spot on your side. So where would it be? Show me. Stand up. Where would it be on your abdomen? Like here. Like your abdomen is from here to here, and lower abdomen would be like somewhere in this range. Okay, so if it was your chest, where would it be? Here on the front. You'd be connected at the front. Yeah, no, they weren't at the front. No, no, it's the abdomen. Yeah. Now, we're able to have and father multiple children, like 11 kids each. Yeah, so, you wouldn't be able to if you were connected at the sternum. Okay, so it must be abdomen. Yeah. But God, the sternum sounds familiar, but I guess not. Okay, I agree. And Thomas well, would abdomen. also make it hard to have kids. And I don't know about number six. I, I've never really. How is creamy a flavor? I know it's I was going to say something, but I didn't. It, it's it's based off of you know their local principles. I'm guessing it's probably savory. But isn't isn't that the spicy part? No, savory and spicy are different. So, okay, then go with it. What then would go, savory be? Then go with that. Go with savory that. Savory is then. like meat, meaty flavor. Yeah, go with that. I like it's it a roasted same. meat flavor, and Thai hat features a lot of barbecue. That makes sense. I, a lot of my canned cat food said savory. So I guess then they're all meat flavors. So, yeah, yeah. The cats are eating Thai. It's, an idea. it's not spicy. That makes sense. Though. But like the, the modern term for it is umami. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I have no idea for number seven. Jesus Christ. We, we can meet. And it's probably backwards. So probably in English, the first word is the second word there. Right? I, for some reason, sapphire eye kind of speaks to me. I don't know why that would be. No, if it was a horse race and that was the, and those names were there, you would bet on Sapphire Eye. Sapphire Eye, yes. So I, mean, yes. I was Sapphire thinking Royal Eye. Soul. Well, I was so, thinking if, Royal Soul. But if I'm writing them with the word, the word order is reversed, like English is always freaking the opposite of everyone else, then that would be Wiccan is I and Sapphire is Met. Uh, but I mean, I don't even I don't know that it's the same, that it's the same language family as. as, as I'm as, just a guest here. That's why. Well. get a choice. So I, I really like Sapphire Eye. I like Moon Diamond. I liked Royal. <laughs> I, I, I double vote for your Sapphire Eye. I don't really care. I don't think it works that way, Professor. Are we going to die on this one? I don't care. Just vote. Moon Diamond, A. B. Twice. Um... Since I get to be the decider on this one, I'm going to go with Moon Diamond. I, actually, ah! I think Diamond actually, I think, I don't think it's reverse, but I think Diamond and Mott, there's there's a vague. Like the diamond is Mott? Head. Okay, we got A. Let's go. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> um, you think it's my tie. Work. I was thinking iced tea as bubble tea. tea. Um, Because like the thing is, is that I had never heard of bubble tea. It wasn't even a thing. I, I had never heard of bubble I was tea. I grad school. Bubble tea? Yeah. Yeah, okay, just, maybe it's a P and W thing. I don't know, but it's been here since the nineties. Like it was my time? big in my like it was big in my middle school days. No, you missed it. We talked about this very first before you got here already. Yeah. What'd you say? I I the reason I said my ties because I thought it was spelled with T H A I, but I might be completely wrong. But I guess I'm wrong. It so. does come from Thailand. The my tie is is well then, 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 then leave it. Then leave it. But they spelled it wrong. 
is fine. Well, that sounds like, like that's the answer then. Weird. Sorry. Okay, for number nine, I think it's Cowboy. Cowboys of Asia. Detroit? How about Detroit? I think it's the Detroit of Asia. It's definitely a place name. Yeah, the Detroit. Thailand uh -huh. is the Detroit of Asia. Yeah, because if they're producing one-ton pickup trucks. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so, uh, she, you mentioned the automotive, automotive industry right there. Yeah, it, it's about the automotive industry. Okay. World-famous athlete. No idea. Could it be? Could it be Tiger Woods? That came, that's what I, I wrote that down, but I have no idea why I wrote that down. That's what yes. I was thinking also. So. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay, well, put that. That is freaking weird. Well, yeah. maybe because we both know that and it's correct and we heard it somewhere. Wow. All right. So, yeah, I, I think I'd heard. Wow, this is weird. I, I went to Spain 30 years ago, and uh, this was at the time where, at least around me, potato chips came in three flavors, like regular, you mm -hmm. know, uh, salt and vinegar and barbecue. And they and and in Spain they had all these kinds of flavors like this. I was like, oh, yeah. no, the same true. How about KFC chicken? Yeah, I don't think it would be KFC chicken because no, they have like a brand. They do brand partnerships. Like that's uh, a big. Oh, thing. that's a thing. Oh okay. yeah. Oh my God. In in Japan, you can find Taco Bell flavored oh, chips. Man. Why? Okay. Why yeah. would you do this? Because this is smells. Thailand, not Japan, though. Yeah, 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 in Spain they had some kind of fishy flavor one, so that would go with the first one: grilled prawns and seafood sauce. It sounds I think, disgusting. Honestly, I see lemon sounds weird. Like the weird one. I see lemon to me sounds weird. The How only you thing, I mean, one? you know, why if you have sour cream and onion, why would you or, or barbecue? Why would you have any other flavor? Uh, I just don't right, understand. Right. Why would you buy anything? Oh, other? And the, the other weird thing about that okay. is they had no pretzels. No, there were no pretzels. Serious, he didn't, the guy we were with didn't even know what pretzels were. It was weird. For serious, the, the one on this list that is the silent contained tender that like I think goes toe to toe equally with barbecue, honey butter. Honey butter chips are amazing. I would eat that. They're I could try good. that. But those other things, I'm not touching them. No, sorry. Mm -mm. Like, I mean, nothing. I imagine spicy lobster and grilled prawns with seafood sauce are going to be a lot like a shrimp chip flavor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I like shrimp chips, but it's an acquired taste. It's the kind of thing you either love it or you don't, or you were, you grew up on it, and I grew up on it. So, um, bringing them here. What it's, do you chip? think you, you can, can make shrimp chips at Safeway here? Do you think you can make lemon potato chips and icy? What would that be? So Jamie, how'd you like being Hi. hung around? It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting experience. It's interesting to see how everyone rationalizes the different answers. Very yeah. interesting. Well, just to be flung out of the middle of a conversation, you don't even <laughs> I don't know well, why the so, iPad was... uh, It was looked up. Right, I forgot Jamie? to it. Je Jeffer Avi, and, and you cannot do the breakout rooms from your, your device. Well, yeah, yeah. as of September of 2021. So it's conceivable. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Yeah. That's why you can't do it. So what did you say, Jamie? Yeah, there must be something different about the iPad software. It doesn't give me that, con that type of control. Yeah, no, that's that's what we were saying. Like it might yeah. not give you the option. So Jamie, no, I was I was asking about you being flung in mid sentence to another room. How odd oh, is no. that? It worked out good. No, it worked yeah, out very right. well. I just waited a couple of minutes and flung okay. you to another room. <laughs> I, I'm I'm willing to go with icy lemon. I do think it's weird, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I also know that they make lots of weird flavors of everything. Like. Well, they also, Earth, most of those seem really why on weird. Earth would you make a ghost pepper jelly bean, but Jelly Belly did it? Ghost so, pepper. Oh. Ghost pepper. They even made a Carolina Reaper jelly bean. Why? Why would you do this? Like million Scoville units? Why would you bother? Hmm. So the thing is, I could see you making a lemon flavor, perhaps, but what, why, what would make it icy? That seems a little weird. Mint. It's just what it's called. Oh, it doesn't mean no, that it's like icy. Ice breakers are, are a deep spearmint or peppermint. Oh. So minty lemon then maybe? Minty maybe? lemon. Yeah, maybe like... Go icy lemon? Yeah, but, you know, it, it's... I wouldn't put it past people to make a weird flavor, but... So any there's, there's two seafood flavor ones there. That's interesting. Room three, oh, that's done. definitely a thing. There's in Japan. There's so many different variations on seafood flavors. It's really wild. Like they have row flavored potato chips, as well as as well as like different fish flavor. I agree. Icy lemon, fine. 
Sure. Let's do IC Lama. So we had one question. We, we just did a wild guess at the Portugal one. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's the only one that potentially we could, you know, potentially there's there's at least the chance that we could be. Right. Idea, but... Well, I mean, it could also be Spain or or yeah, it could be Dutch. Spain. But um, I'm fine with Portugal. If we don't have any other reason to, you know, Spain, uh, it could be Dutch or it could be British or it could be Portugal, basically. Mm. But the main language is in Spanish. Well, Did they speak port Portuguese? Well, that's a good I question. Know. I wonder, could it, could it have been another Asian power? I don't even know what it is. I have no idea. No, it says Western No, it, defi it, it definitely, it definitely, yeah, it well, definitely, yeah. I mean, all of the, all of the neighboring countries around it were Western colonized. It would be mm -hmm. odd for them to not, to have been like, Overlooked or or somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm good with Portugal. Okay, I, I think Portugal's fine. So I'm gonna go out to the main thing and then close the rooms. Okay, sounds good. But uh, oh, there we go. I won't tell tales. Uh, we have the the, uh, the the harbinger of the end of the of the round. Susan has arrived. Yeah, I'm here. I'm eating kettle corn. I didn't make popcorn. I made popcorn last night. I had popcorn and beer last night. <laughs> the beer I had was Angela had made from, I have two hop plants out here. And I had harvested the hops off of them and gave them to Angela. And she made homemade beer. And it was quite good. I'm going to go get a Dr. Pepper. Anybody want anything while I'm up? You got to got <laughs> diet anything? I'll have diet Dr. Pepper. Corn. I'll be right back. Excellent. I'll have corn. Can you get me some icy lemon Lay's chips? <laughs> oh, that sounds good. They don't make that flavor. I don't know. <laughs> we think they do, James. <laughs> I have no idea which one we put. <laughs> well, speaking of flavors, obvious is that a mint on your head? Is that a mint leaf? Let me try. I, I think it's quite <laughs> close. I think it's just a set of odd leavings. Can you say root? Everybody, I am every, root. Everybody should be back. I am root. Is everyone back? They have to be. Shut Everyone but closed. Susan. Got ejected. So should all be back. Okay, we have Susan. no Susan. What will we, we do? We don't have Susan. I, I, Susan. I don't see Susan. Oh. No, Susan's we have, we getting have Susan. a Dr. Pepper. She's just like off the screen. Right. She's got the cloak of invisibility. There, there she is. <laughs> she, uh, she went to get a diet Dr. Pepper. Look at that. Nobody panic. Holy crap. Maybe, hey. maybe she, maybe oh, she went to get one of those famous uh, drinks from Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> so here comes Richard Saunders. Here he so, comes. Um, there he is. So we learned something uh, that if you have Ooh, an iPad, sure. if you have an iPad <laughs> and probably even an iPhone, right? You cannot have breakout rooms. You can't run, run them. No. Yeah, it does. yeah, it doesn't do it. So what I did is when Jamie was in a room, and you guys probably noticed that, um, I just, being in room one, every couple of minutes, I just took him out of room one or took him out of a room and <laughs> flung him into another room. So he did it <laughs> mid-sentence. Random rooming. He just got thrown into another Random room. And then roaming. Yeah. I thought it was, I, I enjoyed it. I'm Work. calling it flinging. I'm going <laughs> to fling people. Flinging Jamie. It worked out. No, so if you're in a, if, if so in this future, that way they can allow them to move around and look at conversations. Mostly anyway, when the category person is reading a category, they're not really participating. They're just kind of Yeah, and then you don't get that awkward thing of like, should I stay? Do should I go? Yeah, what is it, what is it called? In, what, is it called in, what is it called? What is it called? You can call it effing flinging. <laughs> so you might have Susan. to fling me. Hey Richard. <laughs> I can be here for about an hour and a half, then I have some cool. errands I need to run. But um. we're just at, we're just about to answer the questions on Thailand. All right. So everybody, 
remember if your else? score is you will get you will end up with uh richard saunders if your score is <laughs> so is that a threat or a promise it's a, yes. it's, a it's a it's a good thing susan okay. you could okay. call it you could call it zoom trebuchet trebuchet <laughs> <laughs> catapult <laughs> So I, just, right. I, just so started fun, a Zoom, I just started a Zoom meeting on my phone and uh, no, you, there's no breakout rooms. No breakout no, rooms. No. Okay, so yeah. that's new to know. So Jamie, that was really interesting. Thank Only you for not giving us an overly thoughtful mathematic <laughs> one because no, yeah, this was great. <laughs> um, and are I will learn all... something. Yes. Okay, can I give the answers? Yeah. All set? We okay, certainly I'm hope gonna so. Post, I'm going to post these as pictures. So. I'm hoping to share the screen. Make sure that we get it all. Okay. Tell me if everyone has this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So number one. Boy, is it colorful there? No, wait. It went away. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. What did you do? Okay. okay. So number one. Wait. It um, disappeared, Jamie. It disappeared. Good. Oh, okay, here's the, the the first one. Okay. So the, the region of Thailand. Um, what does the the term Siamese mean? Siamese means dark skinned people. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. What letter was that? Yeah, say the letter too. Um, um, dark skinned people D. is D, dark skinned people. It's probably not politically correct these days, but that's what they were known as. It that's wasn't until. Factual. Like, yeah, 1948 is when the country changed its name to Thailand. Thai means free. So Thailand is the, the land of the free. So it was in the 1948 that they, they changed to the name Thailand. But if you look at the map of Thailand, when we first moved here five years ago, we lived in Chiang Mai, which is in the north next to um, Burma and Laos. But now, um, if you go south, you can see Koh Samui. This is a little island off the coast in the south. That's where, that's where we live now. Oh, oh wow. 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 You are nowhere. Look at that. Middle of, middle of nowhere in the Gulf of Thailand, middle of nowhere. And how do you say that one with the PH? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, fuck it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, so Jamie, what made you move you there? And of time. Um, yeah, we um, for forty years, my wife and I traveled to find the best place to retire to, and it came down to um, Cape Town, South Africa, uh, Northern Cyprus, the Canaries, or Thailand. Wow. And Thailand turned out to be a good choice. It was a perfect choice. Since okay. Thai since Thai means free, would you accept land of Thai? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> not really. So number two. <laughs> I guess that's a no. <laughs> nope. Number two, Thailand is known as the land of smiles. Oh, oh. I've heard that before. And it's one of the reasons we moved here. We, we came um, many years ago. We came to Bangkok on a quick trip. And everybody's smiling and um. It's called the way you have you put your hands together like a prayer almost when you it's greet people. Way. Except, except the way. second the second woman in that photo wasn't, so they blur her face. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the, on the other end has crooked teeth, so she didn't open her mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but well, they do. Everybody's smiling there all the time, huh? Mm -hmm. Everybody smiles. It's the weirdest thing. Smile. Mm -hmm. and there's different kinds of smiles. Yeah, everybody and smiles. It's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell as a tourist when someone is annoyed or angry because mm -hmm. yes, everybody's that's... polite. Have you been there, Karen? And, the and, it, and it is a smiling place? Yeah. Just, like, smiling. just, just like Just Canada. like Just like New York City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just the opposite in uh, Germany. Oh, yeah. yeah like, like Russia. Okay, so um, number three. The answer is nobody. You know what? I said hey. oh, no idea. Guessing that. Oh. Yeah. So, Good question. Um, yeah, the British, the British controlled India, um, Bangladesh, um, Burma, which is Myanmar, mostly because um, of the opium trade in the 1800s. The French controlled. So, yeah. so the French controlled um, Laos, yeah, yeah. And Vietnam, Cambodia, mostly for between opium and rubber, rubber for Michelin tires. The rest of uh, Southeast Asia was controlled by the Portuguese, the Dutch, the Spanish. <laughs> Thailand is the only country in Southeast Asia never occupied. They were never colonized. In other words, um, a trick question. I didn't yeah, even but, notice that nobody is an is a answer on the thing. Wasn't. We got it. We got it. 
Uh, Jamie, yeah. I have a question. Is there a natural boundary there, like a rivers or mountain ranges, or that was just the boundary of the previous nation? No, the, um, I think the Mekong, the Mekong River separates Thailand from some of its neighbors. Yeah. So I think some of this is a combination of natural and unnatural borders mm -hmm. between the two. But if you know the, the movie, The King and I, mm -hmm. So most people thought that the British occupied mm -hmm. Thailand. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. why we guessed that. But yeah. no, yeah. it was just the opposite. Thailand was very well, um, the monarchs did a very good job. What they did was they refused to be colonized, but they absorbed technology. The language, the second language of Thailand is English. They brought the car industry here. They brought um, technology and science. So uh, the countries remained independent but very open to Western culture and Western technology since the 1700s. Oh, wow. It's probably the reason why of all the countries in Southeast Asia, um, it's why it's probably the most advanced and it has probably the, the most sound infrastructure as compared to all of its neighbors because it was never colonized. Interesting, no idea. Okay, number, let's see, that's number four. Yeah, four is next. Number four. The king is Bostonian. He's from Boston. Yay, Gail! Yay. Yay. Oh. So, yes. what happened, so what happened was in um, early on, um, the king's father, who was the brother of the king at that time, uh, went to Harvard. He was a professor at Harvard. And um, so this king was born in, um, in downtown Boston, in Auburn. So he lived in Boston. He was young. But he's not a US but he's not a U.S. citizen. So even though he was born on U.S. soil, um, because he was a member of a king, a royal family, he wasn't allowed to have U.S. citizenship. So it's an odd, so even though he was born in Boston and lived there, uh, he's not an American citizen. Oh. Is that a constitutional thing? No, no. it's by their rules, <laughs> not ours. No, that's an American rule. It's an Is American. it? <gasps> yeah. What? Give me a question for the future when we've forgotten this. Can you pronounce <laughs> his name for us? I can't. King Bumbapo, Adjulai, he's, he's Rama number nine. The guy, is, the guy is brilliant. He was really brilliant. And he's he, dead, he right? First, he just died, yeah. When he, um, when, he uh, when we first visited Thailand, we went to his palace and it was full of animals. It, it was close to people's animals. What he did was he made the palace an, an experimental agricultural farm. So what he did was he gave the people agriculture, communications, technology. He was really an excellent, very benevolent and excellent. Um, he didn't flaunt his wealth. He traveled everywhere designing bridges and he was an architect and a photographer. He was a very well educated, he was, a, he was simply a nice guy. So um, it's one of the reasons we moved here because he was such a benevolent, such a nice fellow, very nice fellow. Hmm. Okay, number five. Okay, this is the Siamese twins. Mm -hmm. The Siamese twins were connected C, their sternums or their chests. Uh, Told you. <clears throat> no. I stood by they that much. At the front. Yeah. Told you. But you said. No, you wow. said the side, Susan. That they're on side by side. No, but look at how they're connected. The sternum. Connected. Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was a sternum, and you talked me out of it and said it was the abdomen. Because you pointed at your side. I said right here. <laughs> I don't know, yes, but that's not your sternum. They're connected here. Right up in the breastbone. I read the book. I didn't look at the book. <laughs> I don't know. That looks like the lower abdomen. I thought I the know. word sternum yeah. was the right word. And that's the lower sternum. abdomen. That's I don't know, but that looks like I, I remember yeah, that picture, and I, that, that's a lower abdomen. I don't understand how that's a story. They fathered like twenty-two kids between them. Lower and, abdomen. Uh, well, that's not a photograph, they, you know, Rob. Yeah. Did they, did lower they, abdomen is below the umbilicus. Did they live in a light house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wonder they they're not dressed. They're North Carolina, so Faith and Romero probably know. The guy on the left is Punch. The guy on the right is Judy. <laughs> so far, that is true. Punch and Judy. And, and they could have been surgically separated because yeah, all they, they did was share like some skin and. Right, but if they it's had been it. surgically separated, they wouldn't have had the notoriety and the money. They would have lost they, their jobs. They right. would have lost their jobs. These are also, they were enslaved for a very short time whenever they became um, 
mm-hmm. came to America and stuff. And then they also advocated, they were, they were slaveholders and they also, they sent their children to the civil war to fight for slavery and mm-hmm. not, I, that's, that's actually term, Chang term fathered become, 10 uh, children. Right? Ang fathered 11. So between the 21. And they actually, where they died is where um, what we, like the Andy Griffith show Mayberry, the town that's based off of, that's where they were living. Is that near you guys in Raleigh? No, that's out in Mount Airy, which is near the mountains. That's probably about three to four hours from there. I'd like to visit it. And they were expert at changing their clothes. Getting dressed. They had a really interesting life. Very How many dogs did they have? Four. And did they both die at the same time or did one get cut Two off? Two hours later. Okay. One was an alcoholic and smoked and the other one didn't. Damn. Oh huh. my God, you're kidding. Really, you should, we'll do a category in them so you better read up on them. No, yeah. please. With my punch okay. and Judy. Do the, <laughs> the, uh, okay, the next, next question. Yeah. So can I just ask one question about the twins? Yeah. A quick question. Yep. Uh, were when they were born, did their were they born because their mother died, and they because they were born before cesarean section was something that was medically they're, we available. don't. Their mother is alive. Their mother lives. Cesarean section wasn't cesarean, cesarean section as old as Rome. Yeah. Yes. It, that's why it's called. But, but generally, the mother didn't survive it. No, their oh. mother survived. Mm-hmm. Their mother did survive. She said but their did... birth was no more difficult than that of the other children she had. Huh. Mm. Well, they other looked children out sideways. Away. That was like she was asking for conjoined triplets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we call that difficult? No, I want a, I want a real <laughs> Give me a challenge. Give me a real challenge. Next, please. Please. Uh, Except all the other kids, all the other kids. I don't want to talk about it anymore. (laughs) Okay, we'll start for the next question. Yes, please. Answer. Okay, Okay, Thai cuisine. Um, Cuisine is famous for being sweet, spicy, creamy, salty, and what? Umami. Sour. Sour. Sweet and sour. (laughs) Sour, yes. Looks like our dinner last night. What's what's nice here, we, we actually have a chef. Um, who cooks for us? Why? And so yeah, she it's, it's great because she delivers dinners to our house every night, and a full dinner is about between two and three dollars with free delivery. Wow! And it's great, so we don't cook. So dinners. How would you possibly eat all that food? She cooks so much. We're stuffed every night. It's amazing yeah. how much three dollars here. And it's excellent. <laughs> Her food is fan- really fantastic. We actually had sour sour curry with um, mackerel mm-hmm. last night. Delicious for two or three dollars, and that's so we don't cook anymore. We just cook breakfast, and that's all. Wow. It's nice. It's great. Okay, number seven. About Siamese cats. Siamese cats are called moon diamonds here. Uh, moon oh, diamonds. that's day, right? Yeah, we, we got it right. Diamonds. Look how cute they are, though. Look I know. Oh, so look, they're pretty kitty. So, yeah. are all the cats in Thailand Siamese cats, or are there orange cats and black cats and tabbies? And the, what what does that the, mean, Moon Diamond? I have no idea. I have no. I think the, the, the fur has a diamond look. I have no idea. <laughs> it's with Frank it's Zappa. Frank Zappa diamond. Frank, Frank Zappa. 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 Used, used to call yeah, Frank Zappa. Zappa. Yeah, Frank Zappa. Yeah. The longer term is Moon Unit Diamond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. The most popular cats here um, are Moon Diamonds and a uh, blue cat. They kind of look like Russian blue, but they're much bluer than Russian blue cats. Hmm. And they're very, they're very, very popular. What's very common here is um, when uh, when people get married, you give. Uh, Siamese kittens to the wife as a gift. Oh. So it's a very common wedding gift. Huh. So cats. What part of the two oh, word oh, name it in Thai mm-hmm. is moon? Um, I guess Wichian. You, you don't Must, know Thai? No. Wichian, I don't speak Thai. Oh, okay. Wichian is moon, <laughs> Mat is probably diamond, I'm guessing. You talk Thai, Fwaka? Yeah. <laughs> Number eight. Oh, not you. I wouldn't call you. Okay, the most the famous drink of Thailand. Oh. Hopefully, people got this. Right, Thai. Red Bull. 
Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> no, we didn't get that. No. That was so Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull, from the seventies. Yeah, Red Bull hasn't been around since the seventies. Yeah, what? Red Bull um, is tied, and then a um, an Austrian wow. company, an Austrian company acquired forty nine percent of the company and did start production in Austria. So the Thais still own 51% of the company and Austria owns 49%. No wonder they're so wealthy. Would, would you accept my tie? <laughs> <laughs> Which is what everyone else put. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. I said iced tea. They were all me too, I was gonna Bull say iced tea. But... Oh, good. According to Wikipedia, Red Bull was introduced on April 1st, 1987. Oh, probably in Austria. But uh, Red Bull has been around in Thailand since, since the 70s. Um, look at the history of... Um, oh, you know, uh, Wikipedia. My ties are not Thai, they're Tahitian. I kind of wondered about uh, that. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Move on, next nine. <laughs> okay, number nine. I don't want Wikipedia. That's, that's, where, that's where those smiles come in. Because <laughs> when you're yeah. there and you say that, the server smiles at you and says, oh, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> My time, yes. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Adrian's here. Hey, Adrian. Okay. Hey, yo. Number, number nine. Hey, Adrian, um, I think you're going to be on our team. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't okay, know. So number nine, um, Thailand surpassed the USA as the largest manufacturer of one-ton pickup trucks, and they're called the Detroit of Asia. Perfect. Hey, 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 no shout out. Shout out. We got no, one. We got no one. No shout out. Yay. Everybody got that one, I think. <laughs> so almost um, most manufacturers, Ford, Chevy, Isuzu, Toyota, BMW, Mercedes, they're all being made in Thailand. Huge, huge industry here. Are we doing mono rules? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, number 10. Oops. Oh. World famous American athlete is Tiger Woods. Yes. yes! So <laughs> Everybody got that except. except I just everybody. pulled that out of who knows where. There are three I of us on the team there. had in the back of our minds, and we had no idea why we. I, knew I, 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 I came yeah, into the room and I said, "Is it Tiger yeah, Woods?" And Rob I wrote, goes, I wrote that either. down, but I don't that's know why I know that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that sense. Boy, yeah, okay. oh, And the last. Um, the flavors of potato chips. The answer is forest mushroom is actually a Polish flavor. Oh, it's God, not, that's a real oh, thing. Oh, that's it's a real I flavor. Uh, but, it's real. It's real. You know, icy lemon does sound odd. We were so icy close. Lemon. Icy lemon is not that good. It tastes like menthol. I can't oh, imagine it. Yeah, not I would think it would be menthol. Good. Yeah. Menthol. They all sound disgusting. They do. Yeah. Honey oh, butter is the- actually pretty good. Honey yeah, butter. I can see that. <laughs> so I for- saw the prawns. C is the you answer, saw the right? The, prawns? Um, the answer is C, forest mushroom. Thank wow. you. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, Very good lot category, lot Jamie. Very that was good. that was really good. I learned a lot. Yeah. That was. I'm going to post the. Let me put the answers. Oops, I'm going to put the answers in the chat. Hold on. Okay. And I'm going to move over to scores. I got everybody thinking about where we're going to retire. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm retiring yeah. in this house that I'm in right now, but I hope to travel a lot before then. Okay. The toxic math <laughs> calunity. Yay. That was uh, got three. That was the room I was in. That's room Jamie's room three. Woo. Okay. Woohoo. James, that's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. We got four. Four. And you're yeah. not getting Saunders Woo. or uh, Adrian. Uh, okay. So far. Uh, occasionally evil. Seven. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. How in the heck did you do that? Lucky. Luck. <laughs> well, Caspian was just in Thailand, so maybe that helped. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that helped. <laughs> okay, that effing bitch Susan said we had to be nice. <laughs> four. Four? four yeah oh who's answering in my group sorry i answered but that's, okay. oh, that's a penalty we didn't really that's decide hoof hearted i think that's us right five no we got what? seven seven we got seven. Oh. oh man who am i gonna give it's hoof hearted 
when you say it in Boston. <laughs> Alan, James, Jane, Terry, Mike. I get Bob. it now. I think we get two people soon. Bob. Is Kevin. anybody going to lose somebody at some point? Yes, mm-hmm. Avi is leaving. He always leaves. So, well, he's I a, leave. lost. So that's going to be Saunders. And then I'm going to put him over here, I think, because. But we only have four people. Yeah, I'm going to leave round three. Because Alan. Yeah, Jim, but you also tied for first. Yeah, you tied for first. Occasionally evil. I should put Adrian over <laughs> there because there is only four people on that team. One, two, three, four, five here. One, two, three, four. Well, no, that doesn't seem fair. I will put him Kevin here. Kevin said I'll he was leaving. I was joking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I'll, put, I'll put him here because we're going to lose. Well, who are we going to lose? Vincent. Is Vincent leaving Vincent early? Vincent usually always leaves early. early. Yeah. Vincent, are you leaving yeah, early? I, 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 my, my mom is doing fairly well, so I thought I was going to stay for the entire time. So wow. <laughs> Maybe well, you're so thinking one, about two, leaving. Be quiet. One, two, three, three four, two. five. There's five here and there's six here. So I'm going to put him here, and then the next person who joins might be on occasionally evil because they've only got four. But since we got seven this last time, that ain't happening. So, very well, good, Jamie. I really enjoyed that category. Yeah. We're going to be down to four when Avi leaves midway. So put Adrian with yeah. the other. I one. put Saunders with a uh, with the team in state place of Avi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying I'm saying we're five now with Saunders because Julie's not coming. Oh, oh, Julie's not coming. Take take Julie's Julie out of the take, take Julie, Julie out of the thing. Okay, well, we they can't. He, she can't. She's he's she's on the screen. It says Jeff and Julie. It does say Jeff and Julie. That's you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to talk, talk like she's the other that. side of the room. You're gonna have to say, "What was that, Julie?" Oh, punch okay. Punch Julie says, "Just think twice as hard." Punch yeah, that's it. So now, all right, you guys, you know what I said. F and be nice because Terry's up next. And this is the first time Terry's done a category. He has told oh, me that this is, this is not a math sciencey brainiac kind of thing. That's all Terry, I know. How do you know? Terry it's, can it's, hold her own. Own. It's straight It's straightforward. Yeah. It's yeah. straightforward. I walked, I went through the rules with her to make sure nothing was like hmm. name 10 movies for one point, you know, or anything hmm. like that. So I don't know what the category is, but she's so you guys better be nice because I got my hey, eye on Terry. you. All right, Terry. So Terry, I told her she's it. assured niceness and politeness the first time, but next time <laughs> we'll see. see I've been on a team with Terry. She can hold her own. All right. Okay. Well, I'm not she's worried. <laughs> she's, got, she's got her co-host thing, so she's ready. Let's go. Let's go, Terry. I want to see what yeah. you got. Unmute yourself, Terry. Terry's you, muted. You're muted, Terry. I don't know if you can hear me, but you're muted. Okay. Hi. So here's, I, I can't play any videos or anything. So this is just going to be straight information. Cool. Great. Great. Okay. Yeah. I, I wanted cool. to play a video, but it, it just didn't work out. Hopefully I'll learn it at some point how to make that. Um, okay. So the uh so part of this is just frivolous because i got hbo max (laughs) and Uh and i wanted to watch something from a binge watch something that everybody else knew about but i didn't so now you're going to be subjected to uh friends the television sitcom oh dear (laughs) so i haven't either well oh my god really all right, yeah. so friends is Isn't it like friends with the uh, no, 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 don't say anything. Friends? <laughs> You're muted, Terry. You have to unmute yourself again. How did that happen? Because he muted everybody, which includes you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. So Friends is a television sitcom that originally aired for 10 seasons beginning on September 22nd, 1994. These answers are from Wikipedia, Wikifandom, and I watched every episode on HBO Max. The six main characters on the show are Chandler, Joey, Monica, Phoebe, Rachel, and Ross. Question number one. The opening theme is a song called I'll Be There For You. 
what group performs it for the series? Question two. Are you going to post what is, the uh, question? I just did. Can you not see it? I can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's shut up. Okay. Uh, number two. What is the first name of the man Rachel was going to marry in season one, but she ran out on her wedding day? But she ran out on her wedding day from that wedding. Okay, number three, what did Ross do for a living on the show? Number four, what is Phoebe's brother's uh, what is Phoebe's little brother's name, first name, acceptable? I think they're too easy, but that doesn't mean they are. Okay, number five. <laughs> who play, who, what actor played Chandler? Last name, acceptable. Number six. Joey played Dr. Drake Ramore on which soap opera? on in the show a days of our lives b general hospital c another world or d passions let's see oh the a b c d didn't mm. so that's a b c d we can figure that out okay thanks <laughs> okay uh number seven in episode six season nine rachel made an english trifle for dessert the pages of the recipe book were stuck together and she mistakenly added ingredients from what dish to her trifle. I will accept either the mistakenly added three ingredients or the name of the partially added recipe. Number eight, what are the first names of Monica's parents? A, Charles and Nora, B, Jack and Judy, C, Leonard and, Son and Sandra, or D, Pete and Lily? You're probably groaning at me. Okay, it's the same problem. Thanks for fixing that. Okay, number nine. In season four, episode 12, some of the main characters play a trivia game. In this game, how does Rachel answer the question, what is Chandler Bing's job? In other words, what did she say his job was? And there's oh, no so help I didn't need to it. Okay. And, and and there's no oh. <laughs> okay. And number 10, who won an Emmy for outstanding guest act, guest actress in a comedy series in 2003 on Friends? A. Susan Sarandon, B. Christina Applegate, C. Julia Roberts or D, Reese Witherspoon? And the bonus question is, who did the actress from the answer to question 10 play? The first, and I would like the first name of the character. That's good it. questions. You did a really good job. They're all straightforward. Very good. Oh, thank I don't you. know a single one of them I've never seen <laughs> the show. And you, you're supposed to, the, the rule number one, if you want your team to win, make sure that Susan, who you know is going to be on your team, has an idea of what these answers are. But oh well, somebody oh, may well. know. That's okay. But you did an excellent job writing the questions, Terry. Well, thank you. Okay. Let's okay. go to rooms. Wait. Oh, I'm going to need you to fling me. Oh, you get to be flung too? Yeah, because I'm on the phone for that. Okay. For so I will okay. fling you. Just Okay. Nothing personal. Just me. Okay, it's all right. So, Alan, do you want to send us to our rooms? I like how Alan gets that determined look. Okay, let me put these other people in the rooms. So you can go to your room, Terry, first, and then Adrian, you're in that effing bitch, Susan. We have to okay. And Saunders, you are in toxic math something. And I'm going to go to room two. Question. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to create something to eat. 
Okay. <laughs> I'll fling Terry around. Okay. So, who who here has about most- Mike? Mike, you what our friends fan? And I'll just record because I Mike, have no idea. Muted. Any. Mike is muted. Robin, yeah, oh, this muted. is the lighthouse. I have become the lighthouse. No, there's gonna be rooms. Uh, no, the no, no, no. I like Karen will have every answer. Oh, look, here's Mark. I came and, in to say hi to everybody. He's Mark, in- have you ever watched yeah. Friends before? Because if you have, we need you. Are there Friends? any young people yeah, around stuff. you can get? The category is all of. No, all I never. Person. I never watched Friends. I don't know. That wasn't my era. I didn't really like the show. I did. I didn't like the idea of these. I thought it was a little contrived. Where you know, for one thing, they've got a twenty-five thousand dollar a month apartment in Manhattan. Hello. Greatly controlled. Yeah, same with Seinfeld. You know, it had its moments, but I wasn't a big fan. Well, that's a category. The category we had before this was Thailand. So now it's friends. Should have been Thai food. I could have helped with that. Well, we did have that too. (laughs) Where were you then? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I was available. Well, now it's friends. What do you get a letter for me? Yeah, you got a letter from Ben. Oh, Ben. And you also got a letter from Celeste. You got an ARP letter like I A A R P. It's a check, Susan. Yeah, right. Have fun, you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming Thanks, by, Mark. Mark. Who is hey. that? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Never mind. So is there anybody on this team that has watched the show? I've yeah. watched the show, but that's not going to help it. I've though. watched it. I can sing the theme I... song, but I don't know. Oh, good. Okay. I'm going to start flinging you. So just. Okay. Let me get over to the blinging part. It's quite interesting. The theme song has harmony vocals, and it sounds like what you know, one of these pop pop groups. I would probably recognize it's it's something like the not the Commodores, but like the something somethings. But I don't. Um, know. It kind of sounds like. I keep song, having this, the name of the song is "I'll Be There for You." Robin, we got our we got our our. Um, What's it called? Oh, I, you know, I, my credit card went away or something. I haven't gotten one of those things. Oh, I thought that was like a, a year ago you said that you were going to. I know, uh, and I haven't re upped yeah. yet because I. Shame on you. You should I, be ashamed. Of, you should be a donor, huge donor. I want to see a thousand dollars into him. Okay. I'll, I'll work on that. Number two, I keep having the uh, cheers song going through my head. So that's not helping any. Yeah, I just didn't like the women. They just seemed so. Okay, know, so Eddie. who was Eddie. yeah yeah who was big in 1994? What kind of singing group was big in 1994? Big oh, all right, let's skip that. Kind of like the Cranberries or something. Did like. anybody sing the beginning of the song? How does it go? Right. I'll, I'll be going. Oh, no. bum, bum, bum. I'll be there for you. That's the har- harmony though, but with harmonies, so I can't I can't sing the harmony. Yeah, so, so cool. Uh, what is the first name of the man Rachel was going to marry in season one? There was some guy called Mr. Big. That was that's Sex from in the Sex City. in the City. Mr. Big. Oh, <laughs> that is another <laughs> show I never watched. Yeah. I well, for obviously that guy. you know Mr. Big, but that's another story. I mean, what kind of name would that be? It was some married man or something. I don't know. Well, there's a reason. Well, Identify with any of these guy, people. Mr. Big. They just didn't. They didn't. Come on, come on Publisher I can't identify game. with these people in in New York or Brooklyn or wherever they are. I don't know. But let's let's at least get an answer down because we're going to end up not having any answers and it's going to start trying to send us back. Number two is Barry. Barry. That really Barry. Okay. We have an answer. He's making it up. Wow. Wow. Is working title. Working title. Number three is what? Barry. Paleontologist. Paleontologist? Paleontologist? Is that really true? Yeah. We have a ringer. In Manhattan? <laughs> or I don't know the Maybe character's name, the... but it was played by Giovanni Rabisi. Can we go back to the Siamese twins? <laughs> <laughs> I can answer a couple of those. <laughs> okay. Paleontologist, Phoebe's little brother's name. Not a clue. Yeah, well, what I was it? Was Joe, Giovanni, John? The, the actor, that was Matthew Perry. 
Okay. For, this, for number five? Yeah. Five, yeah. No shout out. I know that. I, I mean, I, I, didn't, I couldn't hospital. have come up with the name, but since you say it, I know it. Yeah. Especially since it was a doctor. That's a hint. Why? How is that a hint? General Hospital, then? Yeah. Because it's a hospital show. Yeah. Oh, okay. What was it? Never heard of Passions. Passions sounds so. The all all Another. the first three answers are real soap operas, and the second, the fourth one is not. That's why I was thinking it was Passions. Because our, can you say he's on General Hospital? And no. are you allowed to say it? Because it's a trademark. I don't know. Are you allowed to even say that on TV? I Oh, it's a character. I remember that scene, but I don't remember what the ingredients are. Yeah, so maybe she's right. If it's a character playing a doctor on a soap opera, then maybe it isn't General Hospital. Yeah, I can't imagine that they would say that. I think General Hospital would no, have I'm some pretty sure it's General Hospital. Okay. Okay. If it was, if it was on the same network, it doesn't matter anyway. Besides, uh, yeah, it's, free it it's free advertising. It's free advertising. Yeah, if it was on the same network, which it may be. So I think it's NBC. All right. General Hospital. No idea, number seven. I've never heard that episode, rifle. but I don't remember what it was. I don't even know if I know it's. I thought it was like a bunch of salt. So either the three ingredients or the name of whatever, like sardines. All right, let's skip that one. <laughs> number eight. Number it's eight is Jack and Judy. Jack and Judy. Jack and Judy. Okay. Hey, Pete put that and Lily in there. might be Harry Potter's parents. Nine. Charles and Nora were the famous detectives. I remember the I remember the trivia game episode two, and I don't. What did she say his job was? It was like he works in an office. That's the answer. Because she didn't really know. Is Chandler the one who's on the soap opera? Or is, yeah. is it Phoebe demonstrating her stupidity? I know Rachel answers the question. Are we on nine? I think might be Reese Witherspoon. I think it's Reese Witherspoon also. Okay. Why would, why would they be playing a trivia game? And is Chandler being somebody on the show? Why would that yeah, be a character? Chandler being is Matthew Perry's character. Well, why would yeah. we have a trivia, trivia question decide. about somebody on the team? What? They were trying to decide who got to keep the apartment. What's I do with trivia? Right control apartment. That's why it's so expensive looking. Oh. And the bonus question is she played Rachel's sister, but I don't remember her name. Sis. Susie, sis, sis. Sally says, did, did any of them work? All I remember is that they were sitting on the couch in the coffee shop. Yeah, they didn't seem to have jobs. That's, that's why I never got into it. I that's, didn't. That's, that's, like, uh, I, that's like Seinfeld. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a generational thing, I think. Could have been. My daughter loves that show. Mm -hmm. And she's otherwise normal. Well, you have to. You have to watch. Your daughter shows. is anything but normal. Robin you have Price. to watch it. You have to watch a show like that without thinking about it. If you right. Think, it's yeah, a, it's, it's you a know, nice. It's a funny, popular show. It's a diversion. It, it was. It was a funny show. I'm wrong with friends. Well, from the same era, my husband has developed a sudden interest in The Sopranos. So we've been binging on that. The comedy is not as good. 
I haven't watched TV in ages. Oh my god! I watched a Peter Sellers movie the other day. Oh yeah, which what one? Which one? Party. Hmm. Party. It's hilarious. I had so Mark oh. showed it to me years ago, and then we rewatched it the other night, and that's the last time I've seen anything on TV. I don't know so if it's aside, the aside, aside from the horrible racism in it, but oh yeah, but it's it's clever. There's a lot of racism, yeah. I guess it was a different time. Is what we like to He's say. just a very talented man. I read the whole Wikipedia article about him. You know the woman who was oh never mind. I'm gonna get us off topic, but the woman who was the star in it, the his lead character, the singer, the female, his love interest. Yeah. Okay, here's a guest for guest for number one, the bare naked ladies. Bare naked ladies. Yes. Yeah, I would go with that. I like yes. Uh, that's their style. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number two, were you going to stick with Barry, or is that just a? Uh... Yeah, that I'm pretty oh. confident on. Okay. Three, I'm pretty confident on. Four. Again, like I said, I can give, name the actor. Giovanni Ribisi. Jimmy. Matthew Perry, General Hospital. Now well, the dog has as many answers. Yeah, the dog is trying to tell you. Well, he knows, <laughs> more. He knows, he knows more than I do. <laughs> so we just have nine and seven and four. So let's say for number seven, Booyah Base. Okay. <laughs> I can hear Mark in the kitchen. He's telling Hamilton, I can kick you like a football. <laughs> Our cat peed in, peed in the area he wasn't supposed to be in. Nine. So he's in a bad, bad way right now. We're not happy with him. Bad kitty. Nine, just like office guy. Office guy? Okay. Office guy. Okay. Well, Mike, good job. We'll yeah. see how many I get right. We just need number four. Somebody pick a name that's could be a Mike, little brother. Mike, if you get one right, it's more than most of us. And why don't we just yeah, name yeah, the little yeah. brother Mike? Is his name the Mike? bonus would be, oh, was Rachel's sister, so... Sarah. That, that would make sense. sense. Sarah and Rachel. Sure. All right, and we're spent. And so number four. Fred. Fred. <laughs> I, I don't know. Fred sounds the Fred movie sounds correct. Huh? I would say Fred. Fred? Wouldn't Fred be funny if it was Fred. <laughs> Okay, good job, team. We'll put in parentheses Giovanni oh, Ribisi. I was supposed okay. to fling. I was supposed to fling Terry. I completely forgot to fling her. Oh, she's probably shit. sitting lonely in some ante room. I'm flinging her to four. I, you guys forgot to remind me. Well, I, I tell you what, she's going to, it's too bad she couldn't come back here. I think she'd feel a lot better having heard all of uh, Mike's answers. She'll feel better about this category. Right. Mm. So we're going back. Good, to, good for me. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Good job, team. <laughs> Recording in progress. We were at the we were at the store the other day, and the people who were working at the store were like, "I'm on day. <laughs> Mark started laughing. He couldn't stop laughing. He, was, he kept teasing me. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. I think that should be a team name someday. Have a nice day. So I need to fling Terry a little bit more around because that wasn't fair that we didn't fling her enough. So make over here. But the woman that was on, anybody else see the party? No, by. Um, uh, who? What was his name again? 
uh, Peter Sellers? I, Peter Sellers, yeah. So there was a woman who played, she was a French actress and she was a musician and she was just adorable, adorable person. And she was the lead uh, lead character, like the love interest on the show. And uh, it was, Mark was telling me it was supposed to be her big break. It was supposed to be the, you know, they had all designed, she'd married Williams, the guy in Vegas who sang his, Andy Williams, is that his name? Yes. I think she, when she was 18, she married Andy Williams, who was like 35. And what happened is this, the party was supposed to be the thing for her. And <laughs> it turns out after the party, she ended up marrying somebody else. Oh no, she, she was engaged to somebody else, some, some ski Olympian. And so I think they were in Aspen and she shot and killed him. Ooh. I mean, Lodge. You remember, I, I'd never heard of her before. She ended up, it was all this, the, all this ballistic stuff and everything, she, she ended up getting off. I think she served 30 yeah. days. Yeah. I know her uh, parents, or his parents, Spider Savage's parents. Really? Yeah. Tell us, the, tell us the dirt. Oh, they didn't tell me much of the dirt. I mean, it, they didn't want to talk about it much, but. I thought he was a race car driver, I guess. Oh, skier. Okay. Downhill here. He lived in uh, Plaza. I remember the name, you know. But she just was... looked, it's just like the thing is, you know, she just looks such like a sweet, you know, you never know. But she, uh, she says he was showing her how to load it or something like that. And the ballistics are like, oh, yeah, yeah. you're showing you how to load it from way over there. <laughs> and then yeah. I think her diary was talking about how she was upset because he was cheating on her or something. And she ended up dying at like 80 something she she never became a star after that but uh she she managed to but andy williams i was trying to picture who he is he used to wear these sweat these he was known for his sweaters sweaters right like, yeah. like perry como type fit sweaters and stuff and he used to have an it was a big deal at christmas time he had a he was a bit of a oh, christmas was the thing that's right yeah, music at christmas christmas specials <laughs> but he had he had a he had a weekly he had a weekly show yeah, he looked like a frat boy. Yeah, absolutely. And he was in Vegas and she was a like a working in a Vegas show. She was just some showgirl and she her car broke down and she was alongside the road and he drove up and asked her if he needed help. And that was that. He was 35, I think, and she was 19 or 18. And he they married and they had kids. And I'm telling you, you drop into these Wikipedia pages and you could <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> You're, you know, you're, yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, I couldn't remember her name, but she was lovely in the party. She just looked so adorable. And mm -hmm. is, have you guys seen uh, Strange Love? No, no, what is that? Oh yes, Doctor yeah. Strange Love. Doctor Strange Love. Oh, yeah, Doctor oh, yeah. Strange, Strange Love. Yeah, yeah, that was incredible. It's a we'll great. Watch movie. it again. Doctor Strange Love. Except... How I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Yeah. Full title. Yes, yeah. uh, it's scary what, to watch it his, because uh, it's from I don't watch Ukraine it for years. I don't right want to watch it again. That was scary. So Terry, you're in yeah. Me. What did you think? I forgot about you for a little bit there. Sorry, I didn't fling you until the end. I said I better fling you a few times. Well, that's okay because I did figure out I could switch rooms on my oh. phone. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I was I able to sw to switch myself. Oh. So, so I guess it's just the tablet you keep. I don't know. And I have a Android, Samsung S10, so okay. I could. And yeah. you, you need to worry too much about your team, <laughs> Terry, because uh, we have we have a ringer on the team. Mike so was our we ringer. Were, we were, we were, we were salvaged. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. Is I see again? Rob Palmer is on my thing again. I'm gonna snap. You're on my thing. You're I, wanted on my see, I, I wanted to see if you had fixed it so it's some. Then you did that. So great. Good, great job. I didn't fix anything. Uh oh, what happened? Here? It's, 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 it's working. working but oh, I, no, why do no, we have no, the rooms no, opening? Not now. No, my fault. Not my now. fault. It came up. Okay. Can you undo oh. this? I don't know how to. Undo yeah, it. not now. Just, oh, pick just not tell now. everyone to ignore it. Like I'm not now. There. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Alan, you're pressing buttons. Holy moly. Well, I don't know. Some stuff. I'm trying to get, <laughs> I'm trying no, to get him off the screen. Don't put Alan in charge of the missile launching button. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's my bad. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Russia. <laughs> Sorry, North Korea. 
I po it's pointed directly at Calgary. Oh, yeah. Okay, Terry, that was really good. Oh, oh you're being very nice. No, that was, that <laughs> yeah, was, no, it was. Well. okay. They were all, all right. understandable and. Okay. How, how, so many, how very, many watched friends? Very clear very, questions. They were very, very uh, specific. I tend to be very detail oriented. So I, anyway. I, I did not watch it. <laughs> so shall I read the question and then give the answer? I would or sum just, up the question. Sum it up. Okay. Like number one. Number one. The opening song. Theme song called I'll Be There For You is played by the Rembrandts. Ooh, we never even yeah. heard of the Rembrandts. We knew it was not the Beatles. <laughs> Very good. I think I knew that too. Okay. The, the, too. the guy that Rachel was going to marry was mentioned in quite a few episodes, even, and you even, and he was even. Anyway, it's a long story, but his name was Barry. Yay, oh. Mike! Mike Yay. He was one of the guys. Oh. Mike knows his friends episode. Oh, there you go. Okay, so Ross worked uh, with dinosaurs. He was a paleontologist. There you go. Uh, Good job, Mike. Actually, he did most of the work. The dinosaurs didn't do it much work at all. <laughs> that is true. It's very true. Sometimes the dinosaurs. So late, later were later mm -hmm. The dinosaurs were sick. heavily, heavily committed to. Mm -hmm. Phoebe's little sister, who was also uh, Phoebe's parents, were Frank and Lily. And the, her little brother was Frank. Frank Buffet Jr. And Phoebe had his, was inseminated with his triplets. Yeah. <laughs> Him and his wife couldn't have kids. So oh, we said was... Fred. We were guessing. We were really close. Ah, you're close. <laughs> do, we get, do we get a point for knowing that it was played by Giovanni Ribisi? Wow, that's impressive. No. <laughs> Jane, Jane said just speak your name and she said Fred that, that was the best pause <laughs> yeah she was impressed okay. okay this was one of the six main characters Chandler Bing was Matthew Perry not Matt LeBlanc Matt LeBlanc was Joey Chandler Bing true. not Chandler Bong not Chenandler Bong. See, there you go. Somebody knows. That was on this TV guy that he got every week. Yeah. Actually, it was Miss, Miss Chenandler Miss Bong. Miss Chenandler Bong. See, there we go. Okay. Now, Dr. Drake Man Ramore was on, as he called it, Duel Days of Our Lives. Oh, and we said General Hospital. Friends yeah. was on NBC, and Days of Our Lives is NBC. Anyway, okay. So uh, on this episode, Rachel was making a dessert and she, it was stuck together in the recipe between the English trifle and beef sauteed with peas and onions or shepherd's pie. Oh, wow. <laughs> And they all ate it so they wouldn't hurt her feelings. Well, in and French, <laughs> in, Fr in, in French, that's bouillabaisse. And it tasted like feet. No, it's not. That's what Why would you eat in the cookbook? No. They were stuck together. I know, but usually it's all desserts. Yeah. Uh, that's it was, it was usually like the randomly of the book. arranged. It would have been as funny, I guess. But Phoebe's character was stupid, so she wouldn't recognize the yours because she's not stupid. Scatterbrain. Scatterbrain. I want to say something. What's what's going on with the audio? It's a robot. Turn, 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 turn into a new robot. Terry's been in Thailand the whole time. Quick, prepare the EMP. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that Terry? Is that is that Terry? Terry. Yeah. Terry, shut shut shut, <laughs> shut your video shut your video off. It might no. Don't shut the audio. Time travel and humpback whales. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> in any moment, no, moment, no, no not better. Say kill all Damn. humans and <laughs> destroy all humans. What about if you mute all of us and leave Terry's mic live? Okay. We have no idea where Sarah Connor is. We swear. Okay, <laughs> everybody. Uh, hey, Alan, mute us all. Uh, um, and dun, then Terry, dun, unmute yourself. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm a robot. That helps. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think he was being facetious. It did not help at all. There's a little box that says, Are you a robot? Uncheck it. Just put it in the chat, Terry. She's Here, I'll read them out. Okay. So, chapters. question eight. Um, what were the first names of Monica's parents? The answer is Jock and Judy Geller. All right. So question nine. Oh, were they related to Uri Geller? Yeah, must be. And question nine, some of the characters play a trivia game. What was it? Oh, her answer was he's a trans. What is that? Trans, trans what is monster. Trans monster. Trans monster. <laughs> That's what Terry sounds like right now. <laughs> okay, number 10. Who won an Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actress? Say it, Terry. It's the robot voice is funny. <laughs> oh, Christina Applegate. Ooh, we got that wrong. And for the bonus question, the answer is who did the actress from the answer 10 play? Who did Christina Applegate play? What's her character's name? Amy, Rachel's clueless sister. Very good. So okay, Terry, did I fix it? Yes. Did you fix it? Oh, you fixed. Would you okay. accept Susan for that last one? What did you do? Oh, we um, said Susan too. Team. You put Susan? <laughs> oh, we did. Susan, clueless That's Susan. Nice. <laughs> the clueless yeah, Susan, Susan, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Harry, what did you do? Can I I just fooled around with different buttons. So I half the time I don't know what I'm doing, but things happen. That fixed. You so can't hit the button that the says I am a robot. Button. You just can never have that. Button. I'm not a robot. So can I just say I want to share why I like this show? And then because okay. I know it's not it's not well liked by smart people. So <laughs> what? Okay. I've never seen it, so I don't know if I if I, okay. Right. Well, I love I love it. I spent a lot of years in in kind of a cloistered religious way, and I and so I I came out and I was very um, innocently kind of ignorant of things, and then I watched this show, and they don't really know what they're doing, but everybody is good naturedly oh, fun about it, so it was fun. Because they don't know what they're doing, and I half the time I don't know what I'm doing, but it was fun. So and there's okay. not a and there's not a religious word in the entire series. That's right? it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody goes to church on Sunday. They hang you out. Know, you know what? Guy. For that same reason, I really liked Golden Girls because it showed these older women having great lives and everything. And I always made me feel good that maybe that would be there's hope for you know when I'm learning. I you're, a rob that. you're a robot again, Terry. Uh, ah, come on. So yeah, after we do this course, Terry, you might want to leave and then come back and see if that okay. fixes your, your um, audio because I can't think of what else to do for you because it's hilarious. But my okay. friend, my friend's authority just walked in the door a little bit late, unfortunately. Oh, figures. Okay, I so let's I apologize, see. team. I thought it was Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, we did too. Did we? I did too. That is okay, so, so toxic math calinity. Three. Three. Wow, you're on a roll. Yep. Okay, James, that's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. We too are on a roll. Four. Oh. So that effing bitch Susan said we had to be nice. Three. Hey. Hey. Three. Okay. Yeah. Hoof hearted. Nine. Nine. Oh, no. What? Oh, man. Nine. 
It must be Carl. Is Carl the <laughs> Carl? Uh, no, that was Carol Karen, well, Karen one, and Carl. Cat, and and everyone else didn't know. Oh, yeah. I was joking. Carol and his cats, Phoebe and Ursula. Is My Carl sister. not know anything about? Oh, okay, I, I know, know anything Caspian about scored the on, Judy or Lighthouse. Caspian scored a ten on this one, right? Occasionally evil. Let me guess. That's obvious. One. <laughs> Found something that that they didn't know. All right, Little so I think Caspian, I did Larry, the Jean. Shepherd's Pie correct. I don't <laughs> feel so bad now. Yeah, Caspian got the one answer that we got. Which one was it? Yeah, Shepherd's you, Pie. Shepherd's Pie. Yeah. You guys just guessed. Just sat around just with each guessed. other talking, gossiping what, for a while. What were those scores again, Susan? Can you show those scores again? Yeah. <clears throat> You had an average of four. Look at this. One got nine. Yeah. <laughs> we would have got 10 if we had picked uh, Christina Applegate. Yeah, that's my fault. I spoke with confidence saying it was Reese Witherspoon and her sister's name was Jill. Okay, so photo. Everybody look nice. We're going to take a photo. Then we're going to take a five minute break. Five minute? Is we always do. Far apart. Everybody looks sharp. Yes. I've got my lipstick on and Karen's got her blue lipstick on. Okay, one, two, three. Let's see if I got it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's see. Save. I'm using a different thing that I haven't used in a while. Good night, everybody. Wait, wait, Good don't night, go until I'm sure I've saved it. Yeah, Avi. Okay, I got it. All right. Good, Good night. Good night, Good night, Av. Okay, five minute break, everybody. Mm. Go close. Oh, gone. Now that Avi's gone, I left the next category is gonna be all about math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so talk amongst yourselves. Keep keep in mind I've got the video running. I need to take a break. You want to play the dice game, Susan, while we've got a break? Oh, sure. All right. Choose a color. A color? Yeah. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I pick aquamarine. <laughs> How about black? Magenta. I pick Magenta. black because it has all color. Uh, right. Black is the lack of color. Okay, I pick white because it has all white colors. White is a combination of all colors. That's why I white. pick white. Ex except well, let me give you a except choice. In, in dyes. In pigment. Or, in right, not in pigments. In light. Oh, you're annoying, aren't you? Okay, go ahead. Choice. Oh, my gosh. Orange. Yellow. Orange. Yellow eight. fell off, so it's yellow. Orange, two. Whoops. Yellow? Did you say yellow, Susan? Yeah, it fell off. All right. Eight. Uh, uh, D10. Yeah, D10s. Yes, I'm just setting this up so I can use it for the Easter egg for the show. <clears throat> this will be for the show, you guys, y'all. Yes. This will be hey, hey Susan, where does this get posted to? Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be at our YouTube channel. YouTube. Oh, hi, hi, Sarah. So here we are. We're going to be on a. We're going to be on a podcast in just a second. This is the Richard Saunders is skeptic zone so he always does this dice game at the very end it's like an easter egg so sometimes have you ever been on a podcast before susan i've never ever been on a podcast <laughs> today before today you have not today. you haven't been not, not today not today okay tomorrow, here's the dice either. game okay it's tomorrow here. here we go all right so i had so, put a lot of thought into this now i was always five 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 right and, we and got indeed, it. some weeks ago we had five 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 we so really did. i've been told mm -hmm. i didn't see the die it, we're recording right now. Hear the end of this. How do you okay. tell the six from the nine? Ah, uh, because oh, it's, it's a got a little end. mark under it. You see that? Yeah, six, oh, six. Okay. okay. So I've had to think: should I mark change on top of it. to another number now that we've had five, five, five before? Adrian, I, I mean, I spent hours thinking about this. <laughs> Adrian has said six, six, six. I Rob think four, it's going to be five, five, five. <laughs> I'm going to stay All with right. five because what's it? You know. You Richard, are, are you well. sure if you're in Australia, don't you have yeah. the line on top of the number? That yeah, case? I'll try that. No, I'll try it upside down. <laughs> so. Everybody put your guess for the first roll in the chat. I put all three, eight, seven, six. Yeah. 
That's a good idea. Okay, here comes the first one. It's a 10 sided die. It's yellow. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. I'll try to do it so you can at least see it a bit. First number is three. Oh, oh well, that was the number comes of. In threes. That's the number Nobody that I it. chose. I chose three numbers. So, Adrian. Okay, very good. Okay. It's 3.14. 3.14 pi day. Here it comes. And you people at home, you can use your psychic prediction power to guess what comes up. Here it comes. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, Susan, good. Five. It's a five. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. We're warming up here, folks. Come on, come on. Let's another five. Come on. Mama needs new shoes. Last number coming. Mama needs new shoes. Okay, Baby needs new shoes. Whatever. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. And the lucky last number is 10, represented by zero on these dice. Well, that's why isn't it five. zero? That's two five. That's zero. No, it's two five. <laughs> Three, amazing, five amazing, amazing. I'm, I'm amazed <laughs> each time we did that. Thank you, Richard Saunders. We can do Hello, everybody on Skeptic Zone. All right, one last guy. This is a D6. Okay, I'm going to guess a five. The D six. I'm just going to shake it in my hand and present it to the camera. And whatever number I present to the camera is the number. Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that was, was sleight of hand. That was like spoon bending sleight rigged. of hand, wasn't it? It was not rigged. It was a one in six chance, and it came up fine. I promise. There you you. Go. I just see see what I'm doing. I believe you. Hmm? I trust God. them somewhat, sort of, kind of. I got to get my time machine reset the timer. Okay, great, great Thank job, you, Thank you, Richard. I'll be right back. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Richard, I trust you got through the flooding in Sydney, okay? Yeah, th there was a stupid amount of flooding about. But yeah, here we, everything's, and, and there's a big problem around Sydney is the mold. Right. Mm. This, is, this is summer. It's hot and humid summer. We had weeks of rain, so people shut their houses and no let up, and mold started to grow everywhere. Horrible. Yikes. Adrian, did I show you this one? I think so. You got a yeah. new a new new one. Yeah. Does this mean that um how many mics have you got now? What happened to the road one? Did you just got tired of it, or this? I, no, it's it's the road NT one A is is my primary microphone. This one I got for, for example, the book of Tim, which you'll hear. I sent I sent a little video. Remember, mm -hmm. he. I used to turn up at his place and, and record him on a Zenheiser shotgun microphone, but it would be about this far from him. An echo would be a problem and whatever. Ah. And I used one of these the other day when I was recording with Stefan. And it's just the ticket. So the, the new book of Tim, which you'll hear this It'll week, he's, he's, he's like this, right? Mm -hmm. So he's about that far away from it. And it's just a much better sound. And, and this one's just a handy little desk mic to have. Yeah, it's small. It's a lot smaller. Yeah, the other one's still here. This, this is big, right? <laughs> and I can, yeah. Not one you want to put in your backpack. I can do this. So I can, I can. Can't hear you. So I have a, oh. We have all this fantastic technology and between <laughs> Australia and the rest of the world we use. <laughs> so while you're so, trying to figure so that now, out. Now I've swapped over to the, the normal one. This is what I do the majority of stuff on, but here's another thing. This one is so good that it's now picking up somebody two houses over doing some work right yes i cannot have the dishwasher on in my house yeah. even though it's a long way away 
<laughs> Hello, so, Richard. I so have this... two rooms away, two homes away. <laughs> oh, so this one is, this is a much. <laughs> this one's a much. Um, it, it, it's it's a it's a superior microphone for voice work, but I'll just swap over now. That one's more directional, kind this of. This one is yeah. This one is this one's super directional because if I go over here, you, you can see how. The yeah. sound is so it sounds like you're farther it. away. Yeah. 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 My, so this I have one a, just picks up everything. Kind of a funny thing. Um, oh, no, that's not what I want. To, I, want I want to just show people something because when I was trying to come in here, I always just go into Facebook and Google Susan Gerbeck social trivia. And then it comes up and I click on the link and away I go. So that's just what I always do. And something really funny happened today when I did that. And um... oh, no, what was it? A funny thing <laughs> happened on the way to trivia? You're Googling and the... it in Google or in no, Facebook? No, 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 in Facebook. In, okay, I, 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 I did a search in Facebook. That's what get... I do. Yeah. yeah. And then it pops up. It's usually like the first thing. And then, and then it goes straight to the page and I have no trouble but tonight it didn't go straight to the page um I want to show you if I can oh god it. what could it be <laughs> mine wanted to, to install something when oh, I was Su Susan Griffith renowned renowned skeptic it so didn't come up I with that way <laughs> did it by the way how, how did you not ask what uh, Ross's monkey's name was <laughs> anybody know that no, I don't know. So, yeah, oh, I was waiting that for that, and that was not one of the Marcel. Ugh. Marcel the monkey. Oh my yep. god. Is that a friend's reference? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the, oh, I'm sorry. Ross, yes. I have to say a Ross Block. Church. No, no, the parent paleontologist. That was one of the characters. Adrian, did you not find it? What is I, I, I took a screenshot of it, and uh, it seems, let me see if I can uh, pull that up again. I'll have to find it. So much for my joke. <laughs> Uh, oh, maybe you'll find it. I'm, I'm gonna, hoping to find it. Let me, if I do this, it. and I, I'll just, I'll, oh yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna do it this way, and I, I'll share my screen. And this is, <laughs> this is what came up first. Uh, I took, I, I'm not using uh, using the screenshot. I'll just, uh, okay, there it is. So everybody can enjoy. Oh. Love Spells and Egyptian Magic by, by Aisha. Are you in need of powerful love magic and authentic spiritual help? Embark on a spiritual journey like no other. Free consultation. And then and under, Yes. And then see, here's the social trivia. <laughs> came well, up why second. would that come up? Wow. I don't it's, know. It's a message to you. Sponsor, I know. Here, obviously. It's an ad. Uh, yeah. yeah. It must Sponsor, be. Right I've, there. I've hey, never baby. had that happen before. It always has social trivia right at the top. I've never actually had an ad come up, but I thought oh, it was a really funny ad. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's it's exactly the kind of ad you would expect to come up in association with Susan. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> true. Okay. So, all right. So we're back from our break. I, the um, the news I want to show is the one that I got a Google alert at the same time I got a message from Rob about this um, this message thing. So. I'm one of the chief critics of Tyler Henry, which is shocking that I have not gotten any TV shows or anything. Anybody's con contacted me. Tyler Henry have written like about 10 things about him. So shock. <laughs> but anyway, somebody did a TV, did a article on Tyler Henry. It's Trya, T-Y-L-A, never heard of it before. Life After Death with Tyler Henry leaves Netflix viewers divided because he's got a new show out on netflix and so if you go through here and it's and it's just a stupid little article about somebody i don't even know who these people are i don't know who this journalist is nobody interviewed me or anything but if you go all the way down i mean here's evidence that he's real is somebody said oh my gosh he's a real deal on twitter so that was the evidence of being the real deal but at the very <coughs> end at the very end it says right here oh critics Renowned. of Henry splitting Renowned, Renowned skeptic Susan Gerbeck suggested you have to get a plaque. Not, you have to get a plaque with that. <laughs> we suggested that this is not a psychic prediction, but just guesswork. Adding that heart disease is the number one cause of death for American males, and that is renowned skeptic Susan Gerbeck. So I'm surprised nobody came up with that. <laughs> well, and our team section isn't really heart disease. But, 
Well, I, Zoom, we can't even say renowned skeptic according to because I have no idea what this trial is. I mean, it could be a blog that three people read. I don't know. That was our second to? choice for a team name. It was that effing bitch renowned skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> you need to redo your pro profile and under your um, occupation, whatever, put renowned skeptic. There you go. Right, according right to now, some, some no name. Renowned skeptic. That's skeptics. pretty funny. So I, that I, was. Is that my announcement? Anything else we have to do? Richard Saunders has got to give his little thing and Kyle is in here. Where's, what do you got next on the skeptic zone, Richard? Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, I know what the, I know what the, 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 um, we know what microphone's being used. The, for the the end is <laughs> give it's me pretty. a second. I just have to call it up. <clears throat> I got a What's quick the name one. of that podcast again? Skeptic, skeptic Zone. Zone. Dot Zone. All right. Dot TV. <laughs> On skepticzone.tv. No, is it the, the, the New English accent. one? Is it I don't know about? <laughs> 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 On the skepticzone.tv this week, we got a great show lined up for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming up on the Skeptic Zone show this week, we talk about the fact that Meta is being sued here in Australia for the promotion of false advertising on Facebook and ask why other advertisements haven't come un under the microscope for quack products and psychics on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We have the Australian Skeptics newsletter read by Adrian Hill. Hello, Adrian. Hello, from Canada. And we have the Book of Tim, a two-part series from the Book of Tim this week, the first part on the history of the word quack. He looks at quackery and medicine in ancient Greece, and next week it'll be in ancient Rome. Then to round off the show in the Trove segment, we look at a book review of a book from 1975 called Superminds and how children would bend spoons in the future. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Yay! Was, was the future uh, 2022? Or are they talking about further in the future? Well, they, well I mean, the, the review talks about, you know, in, hinting that in the future, kids will be able to bend spoons because we'll all be able to tap into our psychic ability. And everything. Oh, this was 1975, uh, right? Yeah, so we're in the future. I, I should be able to see next kids year, probably. Any moment now. Year, they're, year. They're, yeah, they're, they're this close. They're this, this close. close. Well, just, just remember, there is no spoon. Mm. So um, Rob did a really excellent job interviewing Robert Bartholomew. Oh, that's nice. Rob, Adrian looks so adorable. Interview. <coughs> Rob did an excellent job interviewing Robert Bartholomew about the Havana syndrome. That oh, yeah. So here's really the good. link. Here's the link for that. They did record it and edited it. It's wonderful. So this is the Philadelphia Association. It seems like thinking. a slam dunk. We're done. Why are we still talking about uh, that? It's unbelievable. It is yeah, that, unbelievable. That's going to take a while to go away. Really, really. Oh, good he, he, here's some bad news from Australia. Uh oh. What? AW has gone. Oh, my goodness. How much is it? It's sold out. It's $18 for, for 12, but it's sold out. I can't. Thanks for putting things in perspective for us, Richard. Is that, is that come from Russia? Is that why they can't get it anymore? <laughs> Actually, that's, that's my favorite protein shake. That's a Melbourne import shop. Normally, here in Sydney, it costs twenty eight dollars a carton. Hmm. You can't, Which is like you can't get six dollars in, in American money. Um, so the yeah, Australian check, dollars. Yeah, check it out. Check out the Savannah Syndrome thing if you've ever had a question about it. Any idea? This is a really well done interview. It's really well. Um, the person he interviewed, Robert Bartholomew, is an expert on mass psychogenic illness. Oh, I said that right. Yeah. And that's what it is, is probably mass psychogenic illness. It checks, it all, the it it checks Ill. all the boxes. It checks all the boxes. And, and none of the you know official government story checks any of the freaking boxes. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really well done. So is... I'm still planning, hopefully, to come out to North Carolina and Washington, D.C., and probably Buffalo, New York, and nobody else has raised their hand and said, I want to go. So, When are you going? Uh, late April. I'm trying to talk Adrian into going. <laughs> she's got yeah. a, she wants to go see her son in Boston. She's supposed <laughs> to be there today. Yeah. So mm. I said, well, why didn't you just go late April and then you can meet up with me in DC and we'll travel. That would be really She fun. has to make up her mind very quickly because I have to buy my airline tickets if she's going to go. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm I'm pretty bummed about the whole travel idea right now because I I don't know why. Very foolish of me. I thought there would be nothing to stop me from going. I didn't. I you know you can, I kind of have this idea that COVID is kind of done. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, think too. it's mm-hmm. wishful thinking, obviously. <laughs> I haven't worn a mask inside for three days, two days, and it feels um, amazing. Yeah. So the Spanish flu <laughs> didn't go away for like about 30 years. Thanks, Just, oh, thanks that's for bringing nonsense. us down. Oh, <laughs> no, no. That, that's the nonsense. The Spanish flu is now the seasonal flu. Yes, now it's the seasonal flu. But anyway, so I plan on going on tour. And uh, Faith, I don't know if you realize this, but Romero's said that I could stay at your guys' house. <laughs> and I don't normally stay at people's houses. So that's, that's a, I feel like I'm friendly, friends enough with you guys that I can stay at your house. So okay. I, how do you, okay, good. Because, if you don't do it normally, and, how do you? And do your it? son, and your son, your husband there better have his training done by the time I get there or. <laughs> And Jeff said he's going to take me to Buncombe. Does that make sense? Buncombe. 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 Buncombe County. Re- that's what he said. He said, show me where Bunk is. Buncombe. Is that right? That's in Asheville. Is that not Asheville. close? I don't know. No, that's like four and a half hours. Okay, no, then I'm not going there. So let me ask you this really quick before we get Asheville's back to the That's cool, though. I went there. I, said, mm-hmm. I liked it. How much you- time should I, because I, I, I have, my calendar is whatever it is. How much time should I reserve to come to see you guys? How many days should I be there? Because I think I'm going to go to DC and then fly to uh, Raleigh, Raleigh, right? Mm-hmm. And then fly well, to uh, Buffalo. How long should like I stay? To do, like we have museums. We have. I love nature. museums. Are they open? Yeah, our museums are open. We've got lots of green space, parks. No, no, I'm not into parks. I'm into I'm into <laughs> museums. He wants oh. to be indoors. He's just a yeah, I, I like to flower. see things. Well, there's things you know, I want to fly right? to Buffalo. You want to shop. I wish I could come with you, Susan, but I actually have to go now. So thank you, everybody, for oh. hearing me play for a brief time and hopefully see you next week. I hope, you, you, I hope you got your friends. Your Good to see you, Richard. Thank, thank you. you. Talk to you tomorrow. So the Spanish flu wasn't Everything. for 30 years then? Don't even say that. Am I okay. wrong? I thought it was yeah, more like. Wrong. Five. So you while you're thinking of that, Faith and Romero, how many days you want me to stay there? Make sure you think about that. Caspian's up next. And you have your powers. Just let us know when you're planning on coming in because I'm going down to Georgia the weekend Definitely. before because I have a trail race. <laughs> well, so. I was thinking of right after DC, so it'd be probably like the first of May. Is that a problem? No. I can go to Buffalo and then come over there. I just have to decide soon. Because it is April. Be yeah. What? Are you the devil? The first of May is good. Yes, she went down. First to of May is good because I'm going to be in <laughs> DC on the um, 28th, 29th, and the 30th. So I was thinking of going to DC like on the 27th, and maybe I'd fly to you guys. What day would be good for you guys to meet up with your group? Is uh, Sunday better? I think we decided that we're we're just going to change the date because we meet usually on. Wednesdays, mm-hmm. but um, we have done it in the past where like if a speaker is coming from a different part of the country, we just move the date. So you can meet in person. Yeah. Listen, okay. you remember, remember this picture that I sent you? Oh, Pegasus? Yeah, that was in, in a bar, well, a beer place in Asheville. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> cool. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. I don't think everybody wants to participate in my conversation about how long to stay in North Carolina, but I do want to point out, is there any rule about not shuffling the teams up? Because the team with the lowest score now has the least number of people in it. So we're screwed. No, not necessarily. <laughs> Abby left and Richard left. We have three people. Oh, that's all right. Gail, don't forget you were going to ask me something. Okay, so Caspian. All right, this is pretty simple. I'll give you the lyrics. You tell me the song. Woohoo! <laughs> hey. Alan. Hey. <laughs> so is Kathleen going to sing it to us? No, I'm going to recite it for you. Oh, God. 
and I'm going to post it in the chat. So no special grouping, like top 10 of a certain order to something, just any, anyone it could be? Well, that's actually question 11, the bonus. Mm. Why did I take these songs? What do they have in common? Thank you for ruining that for us. Yeah, Robert. thanks, Rob. <laughs> but uh, obviously that's not really important as a, it's not really a spoiler. Anyway, question one. Who would be a poor man, a beggar man, a thief, if he had a rich man in his hand? And who would steal the candy from a laughing baby's mouth if he could take it from the money man? I really want to hear him sing these. Question two. I need to be cleansed. It's time to make amends for all of the fun. The damage is done. Boy, somebody is so poetic. Question three. Here I sit, hand on the telephone, hearing the voice I'd known a couple of light years ago, heading straight for a fall. Question four. Don't go to heaven, because it's really only hell. Don't smell the flowers. They're an evil drug to make you lose your mind. Question five, hear the rhythm of the music, buy the product, never use it. Hear the talking of the DJ, can't understand, what's he say? Question six, quiet now she said, you're waking up the dead. I cradle the excuse in love with the abuse. Question seven, got a good reason for taking the easy way out. Question eight, they say in Harlan County, there are no neutrals there. Question nine, stand up, you've got to manage. I won't sympathize anymore. Question 10, you better make your face up in your favorite disguise with your button down lips and your roller blind eyes. And as a bonus, why did I pick these songs? What do they have in common? Okay, very straightforward. Good job, Caspian. Should be extremely straightforward. Okay. So Terry, I think I have to put you back in your room. You were ten, two. Okay, here we go. Alan, send us to our rooms or Caspian. One of you. Don't fight over it though. So Terry goes in room. Oh no, you went into room two. Did I do that right? I'm here. Hi, team. Cross-eyed Mary. First one? Yeah. That's that right. That may be the only one I know. Oh, damn, because that's probably the only one I do. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Number three is a common one. Here I sit, hand on the telephone, hearing the voice I've known. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself when I hear that one. Okay. 
Well, okay. If why did he pick these ones as a theme? Could the theme be Mary? I doubt it's cross-eyed. <laughs> so, I mean, if it's Mary, that might help us figure out some of these other ones. All right. Who's trying to get in here? You don't belong in here. No, 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 no. You're the big bad kitty. Shh, shh. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> You have bad kitties? I have a bad kitty. Come here. Okay, you can come up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Do you know any of these? You have to stay here. You cannot go anywhere else because I need to be able to watch you. Oh, got a good reason for taking the easy way out. That's a Beatles song, right? Time to make amends. How come Larry and Jim are so quiet? Way out. Day tripper. Day, Day tripper. tripper. One way ticket, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's, the, it's all right. Got a good reason for taking the easy way out now. Who's writing these down? Janine. Okay. Right, Janine? Janine is muted. You're muted. I hope she. I she hope she's knows saying. All the answers. She's been muted. I hope she's. I hope she's saying yes. She's. I am writing it down, but please don't talk over the person giving the answer. <laughs> Did you hear? So, so number seven is day tripper. Day tripper. Okay. Because it has nothing to do with cross-eyed Mary, unless they're all based on drugs. It's very hard to decide what they have in common when you know one answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the Harlan County one doesn't sound even vaguely familiar. So Karen and, and uh, Kevin, are they on separate teams? Because they're going to kick ass. Let me see. Karen's on five. Oh, and Kevin's on four. How's your day been? <laughs> Anybody got any any others? This is totally outside my ballywack. You've been humming these songs all day, haven't you, Janine? I did my I spent the day doing my very long two hour, two hour physical therapy set and putting up birdhouses. Well, Leonard did one of those things today. Mm -hmm. yeah, I did, I did a no. fair amount of physical therapy today. Yeah. Maybe Larry put up birdhouses. Every, every third day, I do what's equivalent to a long day at the gym. Right. I, I, I planted stuff. Yesterday, I prepared my strawberry Yesterday. beds. All my travel seems so far away. And I didn't think I could move today, but I did okay. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a song, Greg. Number yeah. three, here I sit, hand on the telephone, hearing the voice I'd known a couple. <laughs> Cassie had really screwed his team. <laughs> yeah, that's I thought he was I know. singing songs you'd know. I thought, oh, this is good. He knows what his mom knows. So yeah, you would he think he'd be fine. Hear the rhythm of the night. <laughs> so um, can we come up with a guess for what they have in common, knowing that one's cross-eyed Mary and the other one is Day Tripper by the Beatles? <laughs> 
Number all number one songs. Cross eyed Mary was by who? Is that uh, Jethro Tull? Oh yeah, that's right. And Day Tripper. So by, are by they the, out at the same time? By the Beatles. <laughs> um, Could they have been? That's, how, that's one song? how you pronounce that, right? Isn't it the Beatles? Beatles, I think so. Yeah. Something like that. Does that make sense? They're all number one hits. He says it's very straightforward, except that we don't have the names of all the others, so it can't be. <laughs> we don't know the names of any songs. Yes. Yeah, so, well, we well we, those we, we, would those be be from the seventies. Yeah, it was the part of the sixties that extended into the seventies. Okay, into so they're the all 70s. they're all from the seventies. I think so. That's a good guess. Well, the the two. Yeah, no. Well, actually, is Day Tripper late 60s or early 70s? It I don't know. It would be early 70s. Yeah. It wasn't the late 60s. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea. What year did you graduate from high school? 72. Leonard? Oh, 72. You're, you're younger what than year me. did you graduate from? What year did you graduate from? You haven't been here in a while. Yeah, I'm sure that when I hear number three, I will recognize it, um, but I can't place it. Five, I feel the same way. Hear, hear the rhythm of the music. Caspian's coming here. Well, Give we might, we might. Uh, you need to trebuchet this, Caspian. He's your team player. Yeah, I know. We'll, Rake him over the coals when he gets back. He's here. I, I see that, but you're here. And, and, and it'll be recorded. Oh, when, when I'm not here, alone, listen. And when not we recording. get him alone, we'll we'll take care of him. <laughs> Caspian is so popular here. Hey, he got us our only point last <laughs> We're time. Friends. Don't bad mouth him. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stick up for him, man. I'm friends. <laughs> well, he he increased our uh, our score by an infinite amount. <laughs> and the sad thing is team number five is kicking everybody's ass. It's got Karen on it. So you know she's going to rock on this category. Oh, yeah. He's gone. <laughs> He's like about here. Yeah, I've, I have no idea about any, any of the others. So these were songs from that same error, then that would list a few of the popular singers and groups. I think it's just songs in the seventies or number one hits in the seventies. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if these are all seventies. Yeah, I, I really know, know too. I think I'd know more of them if they were seventies. I am, after all, old. You know, it could you, you know, you just said that you're old and Janine is older than you. I am. I am older than well, you. Well, Leonard. Yeah, but 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 you're not as de as decrepit as I am. <laughs> That's only because I haven't had surgery within the week. <laughs> yeah, she had it. Yeah. <laughs> if you had caught me last year at this time, we could be changed. Yeah, but that places. would but that would have been the result of of an accident as opposed to natural wear and tear. Yeah, that's true. And accidents are not wear and tear. Well, accidents aren't, you know, your body's built that way and it's just gonna fall apart. Yeah, I, I knew that I would have to eventually get the surgery I got on Friday. I knew that six years ago. Oh, I'm going to have the same, sur well, I'm going to have the same surgery and I knew it shortly after my son was born, right. but I made it a point to go to the gym and try to backtrack, a little, push it, push it yeah. further into the future. Yep. Yeah, I, I did that with my with my first hip replacement as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, All exercise right. has worked well for me. 
So the I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but nobody else is back yet. <laughs> yeah. So either they do they, they them in two seconds and they're already back. Start start just naming some tunes. Well, how about um, what's a Rolling Stones song from the seventies? Hey Jude. Well, that's, well, that's a Beatles, Beatles. Song. and I know none of these are the, the hey dude how about um, um, Adderall um, oh um death on the water dun, dun, smoke dun. on the water smoke on the water yeah and just smoke put it down on the water. for everything which one do you want to put it down? put it on for all of them. <laughs> well if we don't have anything else it's for all of them <laughs> so we might have a point well, I, I know the lyrics to Smoke on the Water, and it's not that. Okay, well, you pick one. Smarty pick a pants. different song, then. Yeah, the, the only one here that, that we don't have an answer to that is bothering me is three. That's like a Joni Mitchell and, or a Joan Baez. And the other nine something. that doesn't bother you? No, because I've never, <laughs> I, I, I don't, they don't, they don't ring a bell. I think because he's saying that he's, he thinks he's got, so, that should be. So for number 11, if we don't ever come up with anything, we're going to say these are top tunes from the in, 70s. They're or, incredibly obscure songs that Caspian likes and no one else does. Oh, obs <laughs> Caspian. No, I like okay. Cross Eyed Mary. Yeah. Caspian's yeah, favorite. Cross Eyed Mary. Something yeah, that's, but that's Tell not, me that's what we're right. putting down for 11 if we get called back. Because all the rest is going to be smoke on the water, right? <laughs> Unless you can think of another song. Um, I don't have a better choice. How about a song? Is there a song that you've heard of, but you don't know the lyrics to? The <laughs> I'm sure there are. <laughs> well, what? Name it. So we can put that down for our top. Because um, I do know smoke <laughs> on the water. Dun, dun, dun. By Loretta dun, Lynn. Dun, 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 dun. That's smoke on the water. Yeah. That's the uh, words. Uh, uh, <laughs> dun, 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 those those dun, aren't dun, actually dun, the ones. Dun, dun. Smoke on the water. Dun, dun. Fire in the sky. Yeah, and there's got to be more lyrics than that, right? Lucy in the yeah. sky with diamonds. Lucy in the sky. I know the Beatles songs, so I I think I would know them. I guess we should just go back and pretend we know what we're doing. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind listening to uh, song number one. I really like Jethro. I do like, I like Jethro Toll and that song, Cross-Eyed Mary. Yeah. And he's drooling. It's some guy yeah. who's drooling, watching children. It's pretty disgusting, actually, when you think about it. But it is a good song. And Shuffling Madness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a different song. That's Locomotive Breath. Yeah. But that's still a good song, too. Great, great song. I still Judy, people aren't back. This is really weird. Judy Collins. Caspian's a moon one. Is he trebucheting himself around? Yeah, but he can do it by himself so he can finish the sentence or whatever. All right. All right. I don't. I don't think we're going to get any hint. Nope. I so, have never gone back with an empty sheet. I thought you had smoke on the water on everything. Oh, we have smoke <laughs> on the water for everything. Okay, that's, I've got uh, except, it. It is full. You've answered all for, of them. Except for the bonus. Which is? Ways to leave your Caspian's lover. Caspian's favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ways to Caspian's leave your favorite. lover. Is that what? number by any chance? 50 ways to leave your lover. On which one? Or which one? Six. Quiet now, she said. You're waking up the dead. No. Wait. Oh, did you say six? Yep. I have a kitty. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Is that Good what job. I'm putting Great job, team. Team. Great job. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> See you in the main room. All by myself. I want to be. All by, all by myself. I'm gonna be all by myself. 
Sing it, kitty. Sing it. Sing it, Ariadne. Oh, bye, bye. <laughs> Bonus features for anybody who's happened to be watching this on YouTube. What do you think? And James is here. Hi, James. Hello. Did your team suck at these as badly as ours did? <laughs> we have the new um, lighthouse. lighthouse. <laughs> no. no, I think that team five with Karen and um, we we had a theory that it, it, it teams with a team member that have a, a name that first name that starts with K. Yeah, like that's what I'm thinking well. too. That's what I'm thinking too. So, so since I'm in the spreadsheet, Susan, I looked it up. The last time anyone got a zero was uh, November 18th. So we'll see. It's going to happen again. We picked a song and then just anything we didn't answer, it's mm -hmm. that song. So <laughs> maybe we'll get it right. No, November 18th. <laughs> and, uh, it's going to be. In, no, in November 18th, the round three, where the subject was wine, two teams got a zero. And I bet we do better than that. Meaning three teams will get zero. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't think we're going to get zero. Pass, Ben. What did you no, do to us? Maybe one. We'll get one. I anticipate some people who are upset that they didn't know some of these answers. Oh, but you're yeah, saying we well, know the songs, but we don't, we didn't pick it out? Yeah. I don't think you know, I don't think anybody knows all the songs. I think some people know some of the songs and just couldn't get it. One. And I think yeah, we got one. We know things, one. I, I, I hope you're going to play them. We got two. I am not going to play them. He's going to sing them. Um, when I'm you hear the sing. answer, you'll go, oh. Okay, exactly. go ahead, Caspi, because the suspense is killing me. Okay. Number one, who would be a poor man, a beggar man, a thief? That is Cross-Eyed Mary by Jethro Tull. We knew that one. Yep, got that one. That's one. Question two. I need to be cleansed. That is To Have and to Hold by Depeche Mode. Oh, of course. That was the tip of my tongue. Jeez. Are you putting these in the chat? I, I will once I'm done. Oh. Question three, here I sit hand on the telephone. That is Diamonds and Rust by Joan Baez. Knew it was one of those. Thank you, Deborah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Diamonds and Rust? Diamonds and Rust. That's a song. Oh, vitamins and Rust, if you asked. She's, a, <laughs> she's a local girl. She's a local girl. She is, Carmel Valley, for a while. Now she lives in uh, near Palo Alto. I, I heard vitamins and now they're not like <laughs> <laughs> Question four: Don't go to heaven. That is, don't talk to strangers by Dio. Uh. Question five: Hear the rhythm of the music. That is Mexican radio by Wall of Voodoo. Ooh, yeah. right now I do know that song. Yay, Carl! The Mexican radio. Whoa. Uh, Six. Uh. Quiet now, she said. That is gyroscope by the Tea Party. Gee, I almost said that. <laughs> Question I'm, start, seven. I'm starting to feel better now because I've never heard of any of these people. So, got any good <laughs> reason? That is Day Tripper by the Beatles. We got that. We got everybody that. Everybody got that. One. I think everybody got that. Yeah. No. yeah, we got that. Was it? Question you, eight. We might have in Harlan County. That is, which side are you on by Florence Reese? I'm not feeling so bad because the ones that we didn't get, I have never heard of. Yeah, me too. Correct. Me that's too. That's a labor. That's a traditional labor song. Yes, it is. A, okay. All right. I, I, I was. That. Yeah. Question nine. Stand up. You've got to manage. That is Army of Me by Bjork. Of course. Yeah. Army of me. got that one. Yay. I think it's one of my Made favorite Big York up. songs. Thank you. Did you say Army of Me? Yes. Army of Me. That's a song. If you complain once more, you will meet an Army of Me. <laughs> <laughs> and question 10, you better make your face up in your favorite disguise. That is Run Like Hell by Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. I love All that. Right. Thanks, Kevin. All right. I didn't catch that. 
Look at us go. But now, we only we still did poorly though. <laughs> well, why well, did I compare to songs? something? Did anybody come up with an answer? Yes, we have an answer. What was our answer, team? They're written in speed. English. Because yeah. if they weren't written in English, you probably wouldn't have chosen them. We get a point. <laughs> wait, wait. I mean, we said of seven nineteen seventy hit song, songs. That, not all of them. We said they have it in English. That's not why I picked them. Okay, why? They were all covered by other artists and are in my collection. Oh, I think these oh, are my iPod. I, I think we had that they were Aspian's favorites. Ooh. No, they're not. Oh. But like, wow. they yeah. were all on my iPod, having been covered by somebody else. Whoa. Wah, wah, wah. Nobody would, <laughs> Who okay. would dare cover Mexican radio. Really? That's like covering a I, I guess for a minute, Caspian, we didn't go with it, but I guess they've all been covered by Judas Priest. <laughs> and we didn't even, we put smoke on the water for all the other eight we didn't know. <laughs> we, we actually uh, mentioned Weird Al at the end, too. Living with a hernia. Living <laughs> yeah. with yeah. a hernia. We had a, we had a theory. It's like, are these all songs that Weird Al covered and then the cover did better? <laughs> well, I see. I thought it was something biblical. It was either I mean, heaven, hell, the ten daily, you know, the ten, the ten commandments, the deadly sins. Couldn't come up with yeah, been, Mexican radio on your right song. On, on your right podcast. on. But you won't find any Weird Al in my collection. <laughs> I raised him right. I don't know where that he got that. Um, Why is he? Your yeah, mother is disappointed now. Sterling loves oh. Weird Al, but man, God, what's wrong with this kid? Okay, so <laughs> where are we going? We're going to go with Max or Toxic Math. Math. Masculinity. 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 There you go. Masculinity. Think, think of Sylvester the cat. One. Masculinity. There you go. One. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, group two. James, that's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. We're continuing our trend of being just one above toxic masculinity. Two. <laughs> Wow, you got a hundred percent more than they did. That's our rocking. rivals. <laughs> All right, we're we're at round three, and and there's at least one team that's still has broken. <laughs> I'm not saying it. Big lighthouses. <laughs> Occasionally evil, which was Caspian's team, by the way. You. Woohoo! Number th that f and bitch Susan said we had to be nice. Four. Kevin was Kevin Ooh. was the ringer. I only I, got I two of them. I, I got two believe. of them. Two, two. Wait, wait, hold, hold. There's <laughs> some for us. There's some questions. There are. I can't believe you're. Uh, I came thought up we with got that name without I, Peggy. It was four. I thought we got four. Yeah, we got so four. So how many did we get then? That's four. four. That's right. Four. That's right. Yeah, we got oh, four. Oh, okay. Oh, I okay. thought there was. Where's Peggy? Why isn't she? Peggy um, is. It's her birthday coming up next week, and she's got some friend visiting from out of town, and they're partying. They should be here. I think she's going to be out of town next week. She should this be is here. The place to be. This is the party place. All right. Hoof hearted. Four. Four. <laughs> That's Karen, huh? Look at. Oh my God! Look at the average score. Two point. No, it wasn't. I only knew two. I have. Oh well, who was the other one? Oh, it's it was Faith and Romero, huh? So I can't I can't say this round is worse than Carl. the round itself. It wasn't worse, than, but so far the whole game might be the lowest game we've ever played. We'll see. We got two more to go. <laughs> well, yeah. you can and the score it's continues to decline by uh, round. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And wait till my round. Oh, Whenever Kevin, like you're it. next. You know what? That's I'm not gonna, gonna like it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh -oh. oh dear. Okay, let me let me go over here and take away the powers from Caspian. I don't think anybody's gonna mind. <laughs> I mean, hey, the questions will work. Caspian, yay! They were well written, and, and it was, good, didn't Caspian. take up a lot of time. But, clear, uh, unambiguous. Clear and unambiguous. That's that's the watchword today. All and right. So far, Kevin. they've all been clear and un unambiguous. Yeah, but here comes also Kevin. unanswerable. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep that trend going just to make you guys happy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Be the theme but, of the night. You'll see. <laughs> All right, are you, all, are you all ready, Kevin? You're either going to love it or hate it. Are you all ready? Billy Joel. Yeah. No Billy Joel. Okay. Are you all ready, Kevin? Are you all ready? I'm ready. Goodbye.
Okay. We didn't get the boom. Everybody gets a boom if you really need to. Okay. Random trivia. Random trivia? Mm. <laughs> These two films share the same title. A 1943 film starring Gene Turney and Don Amici. And a 1978 film starring Warren Beatty, Julie Christie, James Mason, Charles Grodin, Diane Cannon, Buck Henry, Vincent Gardinia, Jack Warden. Name the title. Question number two. It's kind of a long question. This club founded in Fontana, California in 1948 and is probably best known, the best known of its type. Hunter S. Thompson made the San Francisco Bay Area Club the subject of his book, Blank Blank, A Strange and Terrible Saga, 1966. Thompson befriended many members of the club, but they ultimately turned against him and beat him. Fill in the blank to name this famous club. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Question number three. These semi-famous people all share the same first name. Fill in the blank. Blank Dumont, a German actor. Blank, blank Brown, a Japanese skateboarder. Surfer, Team Great Britain's youngest ever summer Olympian. Maybe you'll remember that. Blank Blue, American rapper. And Blank Ferreira, American singer-songwriter. Fill in the blank. What are you doing over there? Number four. This magazine's inaugural issue hit the newsstands on March 4th, 1974, and featured a portrait of Mia Farrow clutched, clutching a string of pearls with her teeth. The magazine cost 35 cents at the time. Name it. Question number five. Did I say it was random? It's not random trivia. This is a theme. Question number five. This NBC TV show debuted on January 14th, 1952. It was the first of its genre in American television and in the world. And after 70, 70 years of broadcasting, it is the fifth on the list of the longest running United States television series. Name it. Here is a, some lyrics to a song. From number one song from 1984. We're talking away, I don't know what I'm going to say anyway. Today is another day to find shying away. I'm coming for your love, okay. That might be too hard, so here's another verse. Needless to say. That was great. Once and better stumbling away, blah, 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 blah. You can read it all there. Now, you might know the name of the song. I want to know the name of the group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't we just say if it's on Caspian's iPod? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody okay. covered this song, but he might like it. It was a huge hit. I think it's a one-hit wonder. Number seven, the modern blank blank, fill in the blanks was designed by Gerald Holton for the British Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament in 1958. There's a lot of hints in this thing, okay? The vertical line in the center represents the flag semaphore signal for the letter D, and the downward lines on each side represent the semaphore signal for the letter N, N and D for nuclear disarmament, enclosed in a circle. Holton also described the symbol as representing despair, with central lines forming a human with its hands questioning at its sides and the backdrop of a white earth. It is said that Hol Holtum originally considered using a Christian cross, but disliked its association with the Crusades and ultimately chose something he considered to be more universal. Fill in those two blanks. Number eight. <laughs> Look at Alan's face, he's like, uh, what the hell? 
this 1973 film based on a 1971 novel of the same name was nominated for 10 Academy Awards for best adapted screenplay and sound best sound. It would be too easy to just name the film. So instead fill in the blank. This film was about demonic blank. Fill in the blank. The next one, I left one ingredient out because it would be too easy if I put it in. So that's just a hint. Number nine, the True Fruit Company bottled carbonated fruit drinks in the mid-1920s. But this popular beverage has no fruit in it. It was developed by Natal Oliveri in Garfield, New Jersey in 1928 and is currently manufactured by Keurig Dr. Pepper. As of 2019, the drink is primarily made from water, high fructose corn syrup, and whey. Hint, I left out one key ingredient. Name the drink. Is it cocaine? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number 10. Recipients of DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, are young people who have grown up as Americans, identify themselves as Americans, and many speak only English and have no memory or connection with the country where they were born. Under current immigration law, most of these young people had no way to gain legal residency, even though they have lived in the United US most of their lives. What do we call these young undocumented students? This was in the news. Give you a hint. That's Obama a great was... question. Okay, no hints then. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Yeah, the only one, the only one I know when you're gonna give a hint. Yeah. And then the bonus, identify the theme. What these questions have in common. Go to your rooms. Any questions? Were these words all on your iPod like mine? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what this game has come down to. Nope. Oh Just my gosh. Just for, for the theme, just use your imagination. You'll probably figure it out, okay? Go to your rooms. Okay, send us to room. Oh, here we go. Okay, so has anybody got to put in a room? I'm guessing if you really, I'm guessing if you really think about these, incredibly easy. If you thought about, hello team, I'm your new teammate. Hi, sir. I've got a couple. Lee, are you are you are you participating and doing well? <laughs> oh man, I'm a total failure. <laughs> oh well, oh no, 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 no. So is our other team. This I've, has been a I've, real interesting round. I've got a I've got a couple that I'm either sure or again. Okay. You want me to share the screen and then yeah, that'll yeah, be good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, Kevin. I know the number five, I think. Okay. That's, but I don't know many. I have a couple ideas, but not many. No, but number I, one. It's hard. Number one, I'm pretty sure is heaven can wait. Uh, oh, oh, I loved that. Movie. That was such a yes. good film. I watched it a bunch of times. You were absolutely good job. right. Good job. I know it was remade. It, it was remade. It's remade three or four times. Yeah, it that's was. exactly yeah, what I know it was. I saw, I saw the Warren Beatty in the theater. I couldn't stand football, but I did like this movie. Yeah. Um, number four is that people. Is that started about 1974. Oh. Oh, yeah, they became yeah. Scientologists. Yeah. Huh. Um, what do you think? Anybody got a good feeling about that? But it's isn't it two blank? It's blank blank. It's blank blank, yeah. Um, no, four, number four. Oh, we're on oh. two. The magazine. No, I'm telling you the ones I'm pretty sure. We can go one by one if yeah, you want. Yeah, go one by one. I just want it's on the screen. All right, yeah. all right, we'll go back to two. Okay. Boom, boom, Publish club. Uh, Tom Tom. Uh, think of Hunter S. Thompson books. Um, Leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> it's two words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what? It's the name of a club. Um, Wasn't there a Tom Tom club? No. Um, Guess what? 
don't know. What was the one? Hmm. Strange and terrible saga. That's why I like to do the ones that I'm pretty sure of. So then we can. No, you don't get hung up on this other. Yeah. Way. Okay, go to three. Yeah. Um. No idea. Was it? Hmm. Britain's youngest. So this guy is a Japanese skateboarder, but he's Great Britain's youngest ever summer Olympian. He's busy. Yeah. No idea. No idea. And his name is Brown, so he's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Weird. Okay. Um, Four, I think, is People magazine. Yeah, it was a real thin magazine. Um, when I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, People, P E O P L E. Yeah. There you go. Uh, not that it matters. Uh, but five i don't it should be obvious if it the tonight show the, no no why why not 70 years yeah oh because yeah, it, it started, started with johnny carson right or i think oh yeah no, before no, him. Parr. no jack parr oh jack yeah parr. that's right jack parr yeah. I'm sorry, before was, him. No, he was on it for a long time yeah i that's fine that's yeah, it, it the tonight first, show yeah i think so it's the only show that I could think of that's run that long. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You don't think it could be um, and it was, and like it was NBC first... News or something? Like, or how about uh, General Hospital? Oh, yeah. It's not still on, though, is it? Tonight Show is, yeah. No, General Hospital. No. Yeah. That, that didn't go back. Because if you go 1952 plus your 70, we're yeah. 2022. Yeah. And, and I mean, the Tonight Show is still on. I think you're right. Yeah, but is Sister. the Tonight Show considered a television series? Yes, that would be a series. It says TV show. No, it says series. It does, it does say, say television series. series, yeah. Maybe but it's oh. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love Lucy. Oh, yeah, it's not on anymore. How do you guys do with your Friends category? Oh, I'm just studying television oh. series. I don't Who's know the group? Um, aha. Aha. Aha, yeah. No, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that one. Too. Oh, that is it. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes. Take, Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. Number seven so, sounds like the peace symbol. So, so to going back to number uh -huh. six, it's aha, uh -huh, Vincent. We have to know the group, yeah. not not the same. Yeah, there uh -huh. you go. Yeah. Perfect. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm trying to scroll the screen. That's, okay. That's all right. Number, I know. I do that all the time. Seven, the number seven is the peace symbol, I think. Oh, That's that makes the sense. Symbol. The yeah, I thought, about, yeah, I thought so good. too. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. the semi four signal for the letter. That makes e. sense. Okay. Yeah. I was picturing uh, the, like the um, <laughs> you like know the human rights spelling. symbol, yeah, no. the UN symbol. Stop it. Stop giving your mom a hard time. No, number eight was the. Uh, the exorcist so it's the film yeah it's gotta be possession possession yeah, not, yeah. Possession. so he wanted the word possession in that position right so i we're i think we're looking for like a sentence or something peace symbol possession well peace possession oh i see what you're saying aha peace possession dreamers there's there's a apparently a theme to this okay. so we have to figure it out yeah. dreamers the fruit true fruit company Dreamers, yeah. Ten is dreamers, yeah. Ten is dreamers, yeah. That's right. What is number it? nine. So ten was dreamers, D, right. like dreaming. Dreamers. Yeah. Yep. Dreamers. For number ten. Yeah. Dreamers, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, been... Number nine, though. That's a true fruit. I might be a sentence or a title of something. So it would be like. Heaven, blank, blank people. Oh, so what is the thing tonight. that's missing from it? Caffeine? Caffeine is a fruit. 
No, it's a flavoring. No, it's a flavor. Or so oh, it's so this one didn't have any fruit in it. The so only thing that, I, I was thinking Sunny Delight, but that doesn't really fit with anything. I don't, don't know, I don't I was know thinking, how long it's been around. Um, I was thinking cream soda. Oh. Or, but they want to um, know what the missing ingredient is, you guys. Right. But if we think of what the thing is, no, it says as of 2019, the drink is primarily made from water, high fructose, corn syrup, and whey. Name it. Name it. So name the drink. Name the drink. Oh, he I just said it was, it was missing. He, he missed a drink, one of the ingredients, because it would give it away. Oh, um, that's right. He did. Yeah, he okay. left out. Yeah. Left out one. What so. could it be? Pepper. Well, if it was root beer, it would be leaving out the root beer thing. This whatever they use for that. No, uh, this but, is uh, uh, yeah. The Let's go back and look at the, the whole thing in title. Maybe it'll make sense to us. And then we'll yeah, yeah, it. Root, root beer was taro root. Taro Say. root? I thought it was, uh, yeah. Okay. okay, so the number one is go up to the top, Vincent. So the heaven top. something something people tonight. Heaven can wait. Yeah, yeah well, just if you take the first word of each thing, it might. Might... Or even the second or third word, right? Well, well some, some of them only have one word. I know. People, the Tonight Show. Well, I would go tonight for, for that. I would just like people tonight, tonight or people show. Heaven, something, people, tonight. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Possession. Aha. What was peace seven? Peace. Something dreamers. Yeah. Peace. Session, Session. Beer dreamers. Session. Session. Orange <laughs> dreamers. <laughs> Delight dreamers. <laughs> remember, remember when he did that when it was um, American Pie? Yeah. It was kind of a, you, you, it kind of, if you read the answers, it kind of, you said, oh, that's the lyrics no. to American Pie, give or take, you know, extra words and things. So I was trying to look for that kind of. Yeah. A, now we know his MO or, or one of them. Heaven. Like Paul Dumont, Paul mm -hmm. Brown, Paul yeah, Blue, yeah, yeah. Paul Pereira, Ferrer, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. So isn't it Michael? Michael Mike. Ferrer was the American singer songwriter. Mike Blue, Michael Blue, Mike Brown, Michael Brown, Mike Dumont, Michael Dumont. German. It's also so different cultures too. Yeah, so yeah. many different doesn't, cultures here, yeah. Doesn't ring a bell. Not, uh, yeah, it's hard. Hmm. But if we can't figure something out, I mean, we may as well put something. Well, so it's going to make sense once yeah. we figure out the. Yeah, yeah. If we can, if we can crack the theme. I'm writing them down in like a line, Christian like a visual. Dumont, Christian Brown, Christian Blue, Christian Fre Ferrera. Oh, that like, sounds pretty good. A thought. If, if I'm trying to sort of reverse engineer from what I think might be the theme. Right. Because there's a lot of like- mm -hmm. Christian kind of people tonight. It's heaven, oh, I, Troy, I think might have something here for the name Christian, because it's heaven something, Christian people tonight or something like that. But there's like, mm. well, there's just, there's just like uh, a fair number of religious stuff. Right? The religious things, yeah. People exactly. tonight, aha. Uh -huh. But Christian like, people, it's right? It's not the tonight show. Wait, wait, I've got these out of order. Okay, so what do we know for sure? Heaven is number one. Yeah. Number two, we don't know. They number three, we don't know. People. Heaven, the, the people. Okay, number four like is what? People? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Number five is tonight. Number six is aha. Uh -huh. Number seven is peace. Symbol peace. Or peace, yeah. Number eight is possession. Number nine, we don't know. N number nine, we don't know? Yeah. And then 10 is dreamers. dreamers. Okay, so with that, heaven, blank, blank, people tonight, aha, uh -huh, peace, possession, blank, dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> All nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I do like Troy's idea of the Christian for number three. Yeah. Christian Dumont, Christian Brown, mm -hmm. Christian Blue, oh, Christian okay. Ferreira. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Christian people tonight. Yeah. Christian. Heaven something, Christian people tonight. So we just need to figure out the bar. 
or the club that's blank blank um heaven heaven hunter s thompson yeah he was heaven local awaits here too Christian people how about awaits can it be uh it's his first book awaits blank or awaits something a stranger <laughs> heaven awaits christian people strange and terrible saga aha what the hell is aha are we sure it's not yeah <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh this is gonna really bug me out of all the categories tonight this is gonna bug me <laughs> hmm. and then that possession yeah. peace possession heaven bam bam heaven tom, roots tom. dreamers beard dreamers. heaven tom should i make the words uh the font smaller so that it all fit on one page I kind of like it like this because if people have smaller screens, they can read it. I think it's oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's Heaven. it's fine. Thanks, Troy. Heaven knows. Oh, Those did you people. ask Troy? Yeah, he was the one that helped with number three with Christian and also No, no, a... I meant did you ask him if Oh you... no, I haven't. I haven't. Oh, yet. okay. <laughs> no, but it's a good theory, Troy. Don't worry about it if you're wrong. <laughs> He's worrying that he's wrong. He has a theory? Oh. For number three, yeah. He oh, I thought he had a, a, a group thing. No. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh huh. Peace. Mm. Peace. Fontana, California. Nation. I have a feeling that these words make no sense. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the words. CPT. It'll be something obscure. <laughs> APP. Yeah, but he first letter of him. He needed, he needed the word possession. I mean, he he does this thing where he wants a certain word. Mm -hmm. but, so the the one with that was all the halls of fame. He needed Cooperstown. Well, everybody knew Cooper's, but if you just it was some word nobody's heard of, and you think Cooper's Cooper's Cooperstown is the only town I know that. And then you would have got Hall of Fame, and it's like right. Once I saw it, I, go, oh, no. I, I can approach the whole thing wrong. Okay, well, so I, smarty pants, what do you think? <laughs> mean? I mean, it really I'm, doesn't. Heaven. The blank. Yeah, it's. Okay, so the, number two, the club was founded in Fontana, California. For its type. I like the idea of Orange Crush for number nine. Does anybody know Fontana, like California? Southern, Southern California. I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've ever, sag, sag. never been there on purpose anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Some, there's a lot of places in Southern California you go by accident because you don't have a choice. But. The pom pom, the tom tom. I swear it's, there's a club out there that's like a. Yeah, but it's also, oh, it's the subject of his first book. Uh, hmm. Can I call Mark? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to think of the name of that book. Oh, I turned off my phone. <laughs> ah. Turn it back on. I'm like, why isn't it working? Hmm. I wonder if oh, what if it was Orange Crush? Could it be something like uh, Possession Crush Dreamers? Hmm. What, what does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Peace symbols. Possession of a peace symbol crushes dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> you see the missing ingredient in the drink was caffeine? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But I don't or, know how Orange that... flavoring. Well, it says it says... I thought it was what was missing, but it's not. It's name the drink. Name yeah. the drink. So I think Orange Crush is a good guess because it's it's got no fruit in it. Exactly. And orange Crush would be okay. Put orange for there. Let's see what we got. Orange Crush. Yeah. Back there. You guys need more fruits. Come on. Orange. I'm orange. sorry. I I have no ideas for any of these. Oh, okay. oh like we're so on it. Um, yeah. Okay, let me see. Oh, Deborah messaged me. I did? When? Oh, hold on. installing something. 
Okay, let me yeah. see if I can if I can ask Mark. He's in the other room, but I don't want to get up and yell. <laughs> I'm just being polite. Yeah. Okay, so put that question up there for me. The number two. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you, Vincent. Can you scroll it to number two? Yeah, scroll it. Sorry, up. there was some. Issue okay, so today. Mark, let me ask you this question. This club was found. Founded in Fontana, California in 1948 and is probably the best known of its type, Hunter S. Thompson made the San Francisco Bay Area Club the subject of his first book, Blank Blank, A Strange and Terrible Saga, 1966. Thompson befriended many members, but the club ultimately turned against him and beat him. Fill in the blank. What is the name of the famous club? Hellfire? Oh, that sounds. <gasps> oh, heaven, hellfire, Christian people. Oh, I think you might have it, Mark. Was that the only one we didn't have, you guys? Uh, uh -oh. The Hellfire uh, Club. Yeah, I've heard of the Hellfire Club. Yeah, yeah, Hellfire. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're. Okay. Yeah, as I said. So people, I think you got it. Okay, thank you, honey. Possession. Bye. Hellfire Club. Do you have an answer for number six? Do we have uh -huh. an answer? Yeah. Okay, you do have an answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, heaven health. The aha is the one that really kind hey, of throws a wrench. Hey, Kevin. Into it. Yeah. When you number five, you, you it says it's the longest running series, television it's series. Fifth on the list. I got that directly off of Wikipedia. It says it's fifth on the list of longest running United States television series. So is that the traditional, so does that put it into that particular category of not just shows, but a series, which implies like a storyline? Because our answer doesn't match that, but I... If you, if you get the theme, you will treat, you will know which answers are correct and which answers are not correct if you get the theme. So in other words, well, we need to know all theme. click into place if you get the theme. Okay. So write down all your answers and 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 kind of figure out what them together and see if any of them don't fit. So what's another So well, tonight is probably wrong is what he's saying. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying. No, I'm it, saying that's what you're saying. Well, <laughs> you may be right. I may be crazy. And, and yeah, that's true. true. You could be <laughs> right and crazy. All right, and you might crazy. just be a lunatic. We're looking uh -huh. for. That's right. Okay, lie. heaven, hell makes sense. Yeah. Christian people. Tonight, Maybe it's not uh -huh. people. My people might be wrong. I don't know. Uh, Christian magazine's head, inaugural issue hit issue uh, featured a, could have been time, time, people time, yeah, time, maybe time, time tonight, for, time only go back to seventy four, maybe yeah. Oh, that's older than that, I think. Time goes back to, into the sixties, I think, doesn't it, yeah, or okay, before that even. Plus, it, yeah, it's either Mia Farrow clutching a string of pearls in her teeth. Yeah. It must be people. Yeah. So what other show has been running for more? If it's only the fifth longest, there's TV shows that are oh, even longer. Wow. But it's a series. Is the yeah, thing. series. It drives me crazy. It's like... It was the first the genre in American television. No, 60 Minutes hasn't and been on that long, world. has it? No. In 1952, it would have been like strictly uh, like New 70 York years of broadcasting right. in Los Angeles. It Could it be TV. like um... see it so yeah because like the tonight show wasn't that the first late night talk show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know the first that post after primetime talk show thing. Maybe the word we're looking for is not tonight, but it's the mm. I have a question. Yeah. Are we, are we allowed to look anything up on the internet? Oh, no. No, no, no. The only thing you can do is if there's somebody within the sound of your voice, you can ask them. And they can't be on the phone. But I did call, but it was he's in the other room. He's in the other room. That counts. Um, people, the, uh huh. 
peace possession orange dreamers or show aha heaven hell, oh the heaven and hell christian people show hey um let me ask you something did you uh, read the you 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 read the question wrong on one of these really yes um scroll down what number, number nine read number nine carefully Two fruit company bottle time. It says name thing. the drink. We're not supposed to name the drink. No, it says the popular beverage has no fruit in it. Correct. Okay. That's all I wanted to let you know. Well, it has no fruit in it. Yeah. It has no fruit in it, and it has whey in it. And one other secret ingredient that I didn't tell you. So we're supposed to name the missing secret yeah. ingredient. No, you're supposed to name the the drink, but it has no fruit in it. Oh, but we're saying it's orange crush. Does orange crush have oranges in it? I don't know. No, but no. They, they can make it without oranges. But does it have whey in it? No, no. no. You know what whey is, right? Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the liquid part of milk. If you if you, you separate yogurt. The okay, so oil. he's saying orange crush has got to be wrong because why would why would there be whey in orange crush? Right. If whey is just a kind of a soury thing. I mean, yeah, it gives it body. Okay, take out orange. Then let's go with um. What was the other one we came up with? Root beer, or, but that wouldn't have whey in it either, would it? Yeah, the mid possession. Chocolate milk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Carbonated. So, of all the questions, I think that's the only one that's kind of not fair because. Some of the East Coast people got it immediately. And I don't oh. think anybody in your group is an East Coaster. No. Nope. And I didn't realize the drink might not be available in California. Oh, oh intent. Is it, is it Moxie or something? I don't know, I, I don't know what Moxie is. Well, that's no, actually, not it. I do know what Moxie is. I do know what Moxie okay, is. Okay, so it's not it. Bob, you're the closest to the East Coast. No pressure. Well, mm. <laughs> um, Get get the get the theme first, and it will make perfect sense. Theme is heaven, and hell. heaven well, and hell. Christian people tonight. Aha, peace, possession, dreamers. I don't. I still don't think the Tonight Show is right. I don't think it's a series. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Mm. So, well, what could it yeah. be? It's it's not a series. It's a. Is it gun okay, smoke? go back to question five. Okay, this what well, gun smoke is it still on? Is NBC what the hell is still on? Could it be? Is there another one that's like it? 1952. American television. Well, somebody had mentioned newscast. Maybe it's a newscast. Is that a series though? That's Again, not a series it's the same. Either. Yeah, well, that's not a series either. Yeah. Like a series is like Lucille Ball show, or yeah. Know. Is it's, is there a, a one of the daytime it's, soap operas that's still oh, running? Yeah, oh. is that a series? That oh, would yeah. be a series. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be a series. Like a, as the world turns, or another world. I don't. Another. I don't world think any of those are still on. Okay, so fifty-two so. to now means that it's still on, right? Seven years. Yeah. Yeah, world. Still on. So, I, think they, I think Days of Our Lives is still on. Is it? I think so. I think it's 50 People at. Days. <laughs> <They're> people. <innovative. laughs> Heaven Hill Christian People Days. Uh -huh. Or Lives, or Lives, or Lives. Heaven Hill Christian People, people li think, Live Tonight. <laughs> no, I think Time Magazine might be older than people. It is. Yeah, it's older. Time, than... time has definitely been around a while. Yeah. You guys are almost done, though, right? No. <laughs> no. We're, Go away. We're not, <laughs> not going to get zero, but we're... The, the... Okay, 1974, it would not be Time Magazine, like you said. They would not have Mia Farrell yeah. with a string of pearls on her teeth for the inaugural. How about... And it wouldn't what about be us or, something like, or us or something like that? Another no, one of those. That's not about Playboy. That, that would fit in as well as people. Well, it fit with Mia Farrow with her. Life magazine. Is that? I think Life's that? older. 
Life is yeah, older. Life's way older. Playboy's yeah. older than 70. Yeah, that was in How the about 60s. Penthouse? I don't think it's National Geographic. No. no. National <laughs> Geographic. Yeah, they're all, they're they're all she's riding a zebra. They're super old. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how about Penthouse? We had That's old about National 70. Graphics in our house when I was a little kid. Penthouse? Well, no, <laughs> she had wouldn't be on the cover of Penthouse. No. Why not? If she, had a, <laughs> she had pearls in her because mouth. Because she has really legitimate. small boobs, for one She thing. was very attractive. <laughs> Yeah, she was probably right. sleeping with many of those people that would have put her on the cover. Yeah, she was in. Uh, hmm. She was in. Um, that, so, do we want to do Days of Our Life? Sorry for number five instead. Movie. I don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a better answer. If he's got yeah. some. Okay, <laughs> Days of Our Lives. So, I've erased this yeah, damn so thing so many times. Throwing me <laughs> off. Did you get that, Vincent? Days of Our Lives for number five. And if we do time for number four, then that has to do with time, days and time. Maybe that's the, the theme. But so time has been around, I thought, for a while. Yeah. But it's better than people. You think? I think it's probably, well, it's, okay. Heaven, well, hell, yeah, Christian, time. time, days, aha, peace. But are you sure about aha? Yes. Yes, yeah. very sure. Yeah, well, then maybe it's just awe. Ah. Maybe it's not a ha. It's just awe. Ah. It could be. Okay. Heaven, uh -huh. hell, Christian <laughs> time, days, ah, uh, peace, possession, something dreamers. Okay. Maybe it's a theme of just words association, but it doesn't have anything to do with like a sentence, so like heaven, mm -hmm. hell, Christian, <laughs> time, days. How about last days? Is there a ma magazine called Last? No, I don't think so. Last days kind of makes it sound like it's a Christian thing. Yeah, maybe it's just a theme because you got heaven, hell, Christian. Yeah. And peace. And dream, dreamers. And yeah. possession. <laughs> so maybe nine is, it has to be demon. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a drink called demon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. Not back then. <laughs> Ah, uh, days ah, uh, days ah, uh, days ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, as of 2019, the drink was primarily made from water. Blah blah blah. Maybe it wasn't always made from those things. No. Um, it's out on the east coast, so it's, it's out on the east coast. Food. I may have heard of it, but I, it's not something I've ever. Because like Moxie is like an east coast thing. Yeah. But that's not it. As soon as we get sent back, it's going to go click in my brain. Yeah. It's just maybe the theme is just religious. But what is time and days and ah? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> hey, ah. Uh. <laughs> and are we, are we changing people to time officially then? I guess we can. I don't see Mary Farrell on the cover of time. No, I don't either. But time yeah, seems to fit better than the, people. Especially in the early days. You know, okay, yeah. change it to keep it to people. Yeah, keep it, yeah, keep yeah. it to I, people. I, is this still, a flashy cover? The, time is like, you know, person of the year or mm -hmm. news. You know, what's happening in the news. They were, they were competing with Newsweek. And one was kind of more conservative and the other one was more liberal. But Right. Yeah, it was more, a little more pop. <sighs> Yeah, I mean they have they all have those sections, but they're more oriented towards Christian, politics. okay. Heaven Hill help Christian, Christian people. people. Uh-huh. Christian people. Days aha. Uh -huh. Days, days, uh -huh. days uh -huh piece. Could the For magazine have been a, a, a tabloid type of magazine? Hmm. Oh, you mean like National oh. Enquirer or Yeah, or something like that. Mm, is... Christian National. Yeah, because those tabloids have all these things in there, don't they? Mm. Mm, that's stretching. Christian National. I don't know. But would she have, would National Enquirer have Mia Farrell on the front page with the no. sugar pearls in her mouth? No, they, no, but they have like, people. They have they, people they, in they, it. Unless they said she had a, a, a half frog, half donkey for a baby. <laughs> Well, you know, it definitely was Reader's Digest. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, Reader's Digest. Like way older. 
Yeah, uh, there was a Christian uh, people. <laughs> Deza. How about TV Guide? No. Christian no. TV? Oh. Would they have Mia Farrell on that cover with the pearls in her mouth? Have you got an answer for everything? Have you guys got an answer no. for everything? You got to oh, hurry wait. up. Why? <laughs> because everybody else is done. I'm in charge of this stupid thing. Everybody else is done. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna if, if if the answer is any of the three things we are vacillated between, we're gonna yeah. say we got it. We're gonna take it, yeah. <laughs> okay, how about how about TV guide? No. How about you leave it alone and go to like six, seven, eight, and nine? I, We've I done like those. The okay, okay, then what's uh one, two, and three? We got those. Okay, so then you're done. So, what's so what are you worried about? Guys? You got ten what's answers, right? Theme? No, we just want to get number four. We just stuck on number four. Yeah, we're stuck we, don't, like, we don't like the way it, it's not making it perfect sense the way you said it. Not even making the slight theme. sense. Yeah. We're, Identify we're, the theme. I think it's um what do you think the theme is? Why don't we try that and then just I think I think I think Kevin needs to get a better night's sleep and he <laughs> make more sense when he writes it. Good grief. Okay, so on nine are we gonna put orange? Because I don't know what else we were gonna put. It can't be orange. I don't know. No, it's, we, I don't know what this damn pop they drink on the East Coast. They're weirdos <laughs> in the East Coast. There's what? There's also like. Are they already up. all back? There's also Bubble Up and like Seven Up, Sprite, Slice. Um, yeah, but not in 1920. Not in 1920, no. Coca Cola. Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. <laughs> oh, that'll make it really easy to vodka. Match. <laughs> They're not all back. He's lying. You know, way is milk. Right? Two groups way are back. Yeah, yeah. Way, two way groups is milk. Back. So way I is said milk. Chocolate milk. Only two Oops. groups are back. Carbonated chocolate milk. Kevin, you're Why lying. does it have to be carbonated? You, you're, you're reading much. You're is reading it into it. Is it you who? You who? You who? Okay, that's it. You who? You possession? You dreamers. Possession, peace, it possession. Kind of goes with the aha. Uh -huh. It does. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven, hell, Christian people days. Uh, peace, possession, you dreamers. Heaven, hell, Christian people. He, he's, Deza. He, Deza. He, he's Deza so peace. clever it ends up dumb. Days are peace. <laughs> Poor Kevin. <laughs> That's our teammate, you guys. Come on. Oh, <laughs> not not round. Possession, you dreamers. Possession, you dreamers. <laughs> oh, I, think I, I think I woke my wife up. Uh -oh. <laughs> She's going to have nightmares. You remember the big hint I gave you? No, don't help us. Go away. I gave you I a hint. I gave everybody own. the same hint. I gave everybody the same hint. Okay, what's identify the, the theme? I said to use your imagination. Well, we're trying. Okay. We just not aren't as imaginative as Oh, we're... I know what it is. What? It's the song. Which song? Um Imagine There's No Heaven. Oh. Easy if you can. No help. It's easy if you can. No possessions. Okay. No something, something. You say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only oh, one. Oh, yeah. You got it. Go. You got, got it. Because he said, yeah, use your imagination. And that's the song. John uh, Lennon's song. Yeah. And he that fits his theme because Kevin's sneaky like that. He did imagine. that with American Pie. So it's the lyrics <laughs> to imagine. Yeah, imagine. Imagine? Okay. Oh, yeah. very good, Susan. Very yeah. good, Susan. Oh, my God. Well, imagine. he practically just drove he, it, forced it on people, us. All the people living in harmony. Imagine all the people. Uh, living in is the people. off for the song? Uh, so what's what's number nine then? The People Magazine then. Yeah. People yeah. Magazine. People, yeah. I was You're right. Christian. You were. <laughs> the first guess, Imagine right? All I always stick people. with it. Imagine so all the people. All what is ah? Above us only sky, as, uh, no hell below us, above us only sky. Well, where's above? What's Christian got to do with any of this? Yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's it. No hell below us, above us only sky. 
So is there a name yes. that we can stick in there that might fit for the front name of all those other people? In above, above us only sky. Imagine above. all the people. <laughs> Below. Above Dumont. Above sky. Dumont. How about sky? Sky? That's sky blue, brown, yeah. sky blue. I oh, I like it. Sky yeah, is it. You got okay. it. Good job. Good job. All Imagine right. Imagine all the people living in harmony. I didn't in say harmony. anything. What do I put? Sky. Living, living for today. today. Number three. Today. Today. Number three. three. The Today Show. Imagine all the people living for today. Today yeah, Show. Today. Yeah. Today. So number today. five is Today Show. Yep. And and number three is Sky. Right. The Today Show has been on since 1952. Really? I don't know. Yeah. Oh Maybe. yeah. It's yeah. very old. It's not a series. And though. for number three, yeah. Vincent, it's Sky, not Christian. Sky. Yeah. And what is yeah. the R? Ah, sky. Goes, it's a little vote. He goes, aha. He, it's a. It's in the song. Okay, so, fire. So, okay, come on, Bob, sing it to us. So number two is not hellfire. No, no, no it's, no, it's still weird. hellfire. I think. Yeah, yeah hellfire. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below. Uh -huh. us. No, no hell. Yeah. Yeah. Sky. It's up here where he goes. Uh -huh. all the people for today. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Yeah, in, that's right. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What and awe is. is what? This this little kind of bridge. He goes ha ha ha. But then why does he go to peace? Possession, you and dreamers. So possession, you who? Yeah, living yeah. Life, living life in peace. That's part of it. Oh, living life in peace. Yeah. 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 No possessions. I don't know. So, did I get the answer? Did I get the answers right? Then? I think so. I think so. There was Dreamers and then and identify the theme. Imagine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're the John last Lennon. to come back. We need to go back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no. Somebody else was last. I was just to say, room that. four is still out, but that's us. A few other people. <laughs> All right, we'll leave, we'll leave. Everybody okay, okay, go. good job. Great job, you guys. That was a oh. stupid thing till we got it. Oh my yeah. gosh, we just got so busy talking. We completely okay. forgot we were playing the game. We had the answer so long ago. There were all these other people waiting for us and stuff. Yeah. Sure, I can't believe sure. that. Deborah was telling us the story. And it was <laughs> so engaging that we couldn't leave the room. This sounds Thank very you, rehearsed, the story of yours. No, no. Wait, we it's not all ad lib. We don't rehearse. Hey, Kevin, this is everybody was, this here. Was, yeah, this was very good. Yeah, was very clever, answered. Kevin. Was you had I know be, at least two groups got the theme. Did everybody get the theme? No, yes. uh, I imagine we did. I think we did, yeah. Uh, I, I imagine, imagine we did too. We did too. <laughs> imagine yeah. we did three. Oh my god. Imagine there's no I'm heaven. Glad we're not the only one. Imagine <laughs> there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. So the first answer is heaven can wait. Yay. No hell below us. The second answer is hell's angels. Yay. Oh, oh angels. what? Oh. Can we put Above us, only sky. The nickname is sky. Ooh. Imagine all the people, People Magazine, living for oh. today, <laughs> the Today Show. Ooh. Then he oh. says... Hey, uh -huh. hey, hey, Kevin, you're going too fast because you're yeah. not getting numbers. I'll put, it, I'll put him in the answers. Uh, I mean, I, I, I got it. I'll put, got it, yeah. I'll put it in there. Rob's freaking I'll put, out. I'll put the answers in there when I'm done. And then it goes on and on and it says, imagine all the people living life in peace for the peace sign. And then he says, yoo-hoo. And there's a drink called yoo-hoo. <laughs> oh, it is yoo-hoo. Oh, uh, you may say I'm a dreamer. Yeah. And the other one is possession. So I'll put the answers in. Imagine I think I possession. had these. You know what the now. problem is? I had the stupid order wrong. Now, in the in the one question about the Today Show, it says series. A series is a show with a plot, with characters and a storyline, like a sitcom or a dramatic series. Mike Not necessarily. I right, got well, that, that from Wikipedia, so I don't know what to tell you there. You know what okay. those Wikipedia people okay. are like. Well, we eventually got it, but we it would have taken less time, maybe, if it didn't say series. That's what was number idea. four? People magazine. 
Uh huh. No, you who? I had, I had both. Yeah. So play the song and it will all come together. Okay, wait a second here. I got these backwards. You who? Okay, one was Heaven Can Wait. Two is Hell's Angels. Three is The answers five. are in the chat. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Never heard of a you Or maybe I have. You never heard yeah. of you I think I've heard a lot of people really have. It's not, it's not, a not a thing out here. No, yeah, no, that's the California thing. I realized that afterwards people said they didn't know and it was like, <laughs> I oh, care we care you. We yeah. ads for it though. We're like they show yeah. it and then a little box, the box would go, yoo -hoo. No, we, yeah, no, we, yeah. Had, we had ads for it out here in Washington. So I've never heard not, of it. Just we East had it here in oh, North yeah. Carolina. My grandfather was. Hey, that's not fair. School. Peggy just liked yeah, I, my post I, on Facebook. She should get her ass over here. Where she, should have been. <laughs> yeah. she would have known. Chandler, Chandler drank a Yoohoo on Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was drank on Seinfeld as well. Yeah. So Hell's Fire is not correct. I'm going to tell Peggy off right now. Hell's Angels. No, somebody said Hell's Fire. That's not correct. Hell's, Hell's Angels. Fire. Yeah, we got that wrong. And it's, that it's right. Angels, not Angles. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hell's, Angels, hey, it Hell's, Hell's Angles is Angles. a is a geometry problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a Pythagorean <laughs> thing. Okay, so nine, so we get a ten. Okay. We, yeah, so we, we have got nine ten. plus the bonus, so we have ten. Okay, okay, let's 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 get out of this round. Right. <laughs> biker, biker math. Sure. Yeah, we uh, uh, mathematician. I thought it, I didn't think of Hell's Angels. We said Hellfire because Mark said. Remember, Hellfire. remember, it's one ten a.m. for our East Coast people. Yeah, I don't out. really care at this point. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't care. Uh, care. Yeah, yeah, care. Yeah, how to to so oh, just, fine, you know, fine. Am, okay, so wait, what am I doing? Sharing the screen. Sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys are possibly driving me crazy. You, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. So. Yeah, you know. All right, <laughs> yeah, all right. Here we go. So the leading group, <laughs> Mac Toxic Mac. <laughs> See, this is what you get when you give me a dumb name <laughs> like this. I can't pronounce. I love this name. This is Toc what toxic math masculinity. Masculinity. Like masculinity. Yeah. Okay. Six. Well done, Robin. Six. Six. There in second place. Stop the count. Stop the count. Um, all right, let's just go down here. Let's see who's this would be James. That's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. 10. Double our score. Shh. Oh, wow. we got can we get the bonus? Wasn't there a bonus? You only get 10 though. Back uh, you can only get okay. Occasionally evil. Okay. Six. <sighs> that effing. <laughs> we did get 10. Yeah. Got, yeah. The bonus. Got the bonus. Yep. We had to pull it out by teeth, like by pulling on teeth. Hoof hearted. And wow, what? there we go. <laughs> I did say use your imagination. If you're the last thing I said, when you get the <laughs> theme, use your imagination. Some people yeah. heard it. And then my picture has always had a sky behind it. But it's I don't know if anybody knows late. that. It's too goddamn late. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. It's too late. It is late. It's okay, late. okay. Calm late. down, people. <laughs> okay, here we go. What are you saying? I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just physical, saying. I'm just talking about my physical limitations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I'm know, just saying. I'm just saying. Where's Kevin? Bad. Kevin, where in the hell are you? Over here. <laughs> Oh, there you are. He changes his background so much. I forget. Okay, fine. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> okay. What was that? Oh, there's a you. Oh, you. It's who. Is that Y O O? Okay, never heard yeah. of that before. Okay, there's Carl. There he is. Okay, so Lord knows what this is going to be. Okay, go ahead, Carl, with a K. Something about spaceships. No, oh, that's well, like a. Uh, that's a like European the UN. Par European NATO. Parliament. Yeah. No, is it? Yes, NATO. it is. I oh, used uh, Google Lens on it. Okay, what is it? 
I'm covering the EU, but it's Carl rules. Carl rules? We got Carl rules? Oh, so, man. Here, here's, here's how it goes. Good Lord. There's 27 nations in the EU, but there are 16 European countries that are not in the EU and have not begun the process to enter the EU, meaning they're not members, candidates, or potential candidates. And potential candidates is an official status. So obviously, we know that Ukraine and Russia are not in the EU. And what are the others, right? So name any 10 of the other European nations that are not in the EU and have not started membership to the EU. They're not members, they're not candidates or potential candidates. Oh, God. So what's the Carl rule? There, that's, well, the Carl rule is not members. Question. Can you define Europe geographically? Yes, I can. <laughs> you we need an answer, yep. please. Would you? Uh, uh, <laughs> nations that have a presence on the European continent and anything that might be an island that is part of the considered part of the European continent would count as part of Europe. Okay, so can we not say Russia and Ukraine? Correct, because I already said Russia and Ukraine. Okay. So other nations that other than could Russia and potentially be so in there, the there EU. are 16 other European countries that are not in and have not begun process to enter the European Union. Okay, these aren't mono rules, right? No. Oh, okay. Thank God we're going to get some points yeah. now. <laughs> there are 16, Carl? 16. 16 possibles. Is that including Europe and, I mean, uh, that Russia? includes That includes your, your Russia and Ukraine. So there's 14, 14 choices. Areas. Would it be true to say, do all your EU nations use the euro as their currency? No. That could oh, be a subject of another not... trivia round because the answer is yeah. no, not all EU nations use the euro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So send us to our rooms, Carl. All Carl, right. With a K. <laughs> Break up rooms. Open all rooms. This is the end, guys. Come on for the big money. I'm going to room. I'm going to the room with 30. <laughs> I'm just gonna kick back. Okay, here we go. Here's the team that's winning. Which countries were in the EU? I can do it without with, that aren't and haven't tried. Is not something. Well, we've um, Ramiro's been researching. Um, he wants to travel to the Balkans <laughs> region, and some of those countries are part of it. So, so we know Finland's not. Five, six, eight, nine. Finland Wait, is five. part of the EU. No. Norway is not. Norway is not. Finland's not. They're trying to go in. They're thinking about going in. They just voted, starting to vote. Right, but he's asking ones that have not, are not in the European Union and are not considering or in the process of it. Wait, okay, this isn't NATO. This isn't NATO. Right. Oh, this is, oh, I completely yeah. lost what I'm talking about. Hell, I don't okay. know what's going on. All right. Um, I'm going to go get something to eat. All right. All right. We have nine. This, this is a NATO. I was thinking you talking about nine. NATO. I have nine as well. Okay. Okay, go for it. Bosnia. Do, do that again. Say it louder. Bosnia. 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 Yeah. Bosnia. Bosnia and Herzegovina. The former Yugoslavia. No, that's one place. Bosnia oh, Herzegovina is one place. It's the former Yugoslavia. Right. <laughs> Did you have Bosnia down? No, just do, no, I'll just say the ones that you don't say. Uh -huh, okay. Moldova. Moldova. Serbia. Albania. I can't. Wait, wait, wait go Sar, go Sar. Oh. Slow, slow down so I can back. Okay. Moldova. Uh huh. Serbia. Serbia. Albania. Norway, Iceland. Does that count? Iceland count? Iceland is Europe is European nation. Okay. It's an, yeah. He said islands can count. So right, yeah. right. Montenegro. Okay. The United Kingdom, because I don't think they're part yeah. of the European Union. Yeah, I wrote that down too. Yeah, there okay, just came out with a message. There are 16 European countries that are not in and have not begun process 
to enter the European yeah, Union. Yeah, I don't know. I just I just put that there because I I forgot to paste. Okay. okay. Is that formal. is that all your list? No, we have Azerbaijan. Okay. So I don't know. It it threw me off when he said haven't started the process. I mean, I wrote down. I mean, I had Norway, oh El Montenegro, UK, Albania, but I wrote down others, but I don't know if they've started the process, but they're not in the EU now. Uh, Monaco, Andorra, um, Switzerland. Well, Vatican City, maybe. <laughs> um, Macedonia or North Macedonia. What about um, uh, Uzbekistan and... Um, Kirk, um, Kirkmenistan? Turkestan. Turkmenistan is on the Asian continent. Okay. And, Uz and Uzbekistan? I think it might be Asia as well. I don't know. I think Uzbekistan is Asia. Um, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, I think, are. Okay. Ah, it's just nice to be around such smart people. <laughs> so then my. I have no clue. Andorra, Switzerland. I couldn't even spell well, that. All we have to do, <laughs> all we have to, we don't have to pick like, is Northern Macedonia count? Yeah. I would think it does. All right. Well, we've already got 13 names listed here. Yeah. And we Austria only need Jan, it's spelled A Z. There's -E only a potential of 14. I have no idea how to spell Azerbaijan. But After the B, it's we know what it is. A -N. Yeah. J-A-N, Azerbaijan. We, we need to eliminate some of these because we've got too many we, already. The UK, unless there are others that you want to put in. Okay, okay. Yeah, Poland, let's Poland? take the UK off because we is, don't know. Poland, no, Poland is uh, is not Poland. on the list. Um, not, not, no, we were Poland saying we're not, and not a, Is Poland in the EU? Poland is not yes. on the list. Oh. Hmm? It's not it on is? The, Poland is, should not be on this list. Yeah, Poland is part of the European Union. Okay. I don't see it on the list. You're right. But what, what we're saying is we probably should take the UK off because we're not sure if they've officially. They're in the process. But they're in the process and he's not specifying. So they're technically part of the European Union still. And if he says, I'm, I'm not interested in even trying, they were in it. Yeah, so but they may, they may not that have they may they may not have officially exited the so point is at one point yeah. they applied and were accepted and if yeah. he said have never applied no he's saying the countries that are not in and have not begun the process to enter the european Union. exactly they have begun the process in fact finished it great so take take that oh, off really yeah agreeing. take it off is what yeah. i'm saying take it off okay okay who do we know anyone else that has begun the process? Because I don't. I have no idea who does who's going the process. I think Switzerland is a, a good one to put on there because they don't like joining any of this stuff. Let's put Switzerland then. We've got of, it. Instead of Monaco, because I know it's a principality, but I'm not sure. Okay. Like I would think Monaco and Andorra probably would join because it would mean easier access to certain things. Right. And they're right there with well yeah they're, they're so small okay wouldn't so, these countries also be considered part of the shenzhen area if i said that right you mean azerbaijan no so when you visit the european union you're allowed to or when you visit europe and i think it's european union countries you're allowed to visit shenzhen countries and it's just what they call the shenzhen area is what like the uk france germany you can travel freely between them. You don't have to check your passport every single time. Okay, I don't understand what the how, what what you're asking. I'm just saying if, it's, if if you if the Shenzhen countries are the same as the ones that are in the European Union. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, okay. But these these folks these are not in the EU. The thing now is taking off who is in the process, which we don't know. And, and we have 11 names up there now. And we only need- Are we positive name. Switzerland is not part of the European Switzerland Union? Switzerland is not. Well, I don't know. Hey, I'm the person that gave you Reese Witherspoon, sister. <laughs> well, the Switzerland would make sense in. because Switzerland does their own thing. I mean, they've- Yeah, they I, do their own thing. I'm pretty let's, damn let's, sure they're not in it. And none- let's take off Andorra and leave Switzerland and Macedonia. Okay. 
Uh, Wait, we, ha- we need 10 names. We've got we have 10 if we here. take off Andorra. So Faith is saying take off Andorra and Monaco because they're small, you know, really the principalities. Tiny. They're technically. Well, we can't, if we take off two, we have to put something back. No, we we just, no, 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 if you take, take off Andorra, off we have yeah. 10. Right Andorra. now we have 11. Take off Andorra. Right. Yeah, we've got but 10. We can't take off two and have 10. No, no. Now we have 10. Stop arguing. Gail, you already took off. We already took off Monaco, Gail. We're ahead of the game. But we now have 10 names on the list. Yes. Yeah. And is that the 10 you want? Yeah, that's the 10. We're just guessing. We don't know. We're sure that these are not in the E. I'm, I'm, if, if you're positive about the Balkan countries, because he wants, that's what he wants to do this summer, is drive around. The Eastern Balkans? Europe. Drive around yes. the Balkans? Yes. Yes. Because we're not going to be taking our cruise, or at least we don't think we're going to be take, going on the cruise. So, I thought you were going to come out to California. I don't know. Our therapist says we should do some international travel. Your therapist says yes yeah. to combat the burnout and the frustration. I'd like to go to California. And for clarification, we weren't arguing. We were trying to, two people at once trying to tell Gail that she had- We were having a more productive conversation than Ted Cruz was earlier this week. Someone deleted, that she was ahead of the game and had already deleted (laughs) one we wanted deleted. So how is it you guys- telling me to delete two names and we 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 would have had too few. How is it that you guys are at 30? How come you guys just kicked ass tonight? Because we're smart. Because Nobody, Carl was on our team. Nobody <laughs> aced it. Nobody aced any category. You had a category with four, but that was the high. That was a high score. Right. So in that, that one, I knew two, and Faith knew one, and Carl knew one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys have done really well. And then we figured Are out you all we happy with this home. list the way it is now? You can all see it, right? Oh, yeah, I should take a picture of it. I'm happy with it's it. It's a, it's yeah, it's a, it's a crapshoot because we don't know which ones have. UK was the only educated guess we made. You know. Yep. We're sure that they're not in the EU, but we don't know if they've started the process. Right. I don't I just, think most of these have started. Well, I wouldn't have known any of these. I was thinking the question was a whole different question about the uh, about the um, NATO. NATO. <laughs> It's really on a dolly. And I thought Carl's I I, I've been in a room with Carl and I thought it was a spaceship. I <laughs> thought it was the UN. I was close. I thought it was the UN. See, I don't wear my glasses when we're doing this. Well, it doesn't look good with your blue eyes. Blue mm-hmm. eye. Um, you I should do like Rob yellow eyebrows. You recognized it or if he actually saved and zoomed in the picture to see the flag in the background that was really small okay you should we should do yellow no, eyebrows. i didn't do that i'm gonna do <laughs> yellow eyebrows can you color them yeah you can yeah yeah you go to um the video and then choose a, a video filter and then um you have your video filters and video backgrounds but in the lower corner it says studio effects you can add colored eyebrows oh. and you t- you out there on youtube who are watching this you see when you hang out on social yeah. trivia with susan you learn these things <laughs> i have the smartest friends you can get you can make your eyebrows different colors <laughs> she just grew I'm, up giving, I'm taking the ukrainian look yeah you can change your lip color you can change the opacity have a goatee oh, this looks bad mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that does not look that's scary yes it's really could we move it's creepy at belarus or maybe macedonia oh okay. yeah yeah belarus <laughs> this is what i look like at the mustache <laughs> yeah we're going to tell you instead of something that's up there yeah, I guess we were because yeah, Belarus is probably pretty sure that they're not. We're pretty sure Belarus yeah, is. Not I agree with you. Product. I think it's a good. I think it's a good choice, but in order to put it, we have to take something instead off. of Azerbaijan. Take no, Azerbaijan is probably not, but maybe take Macedonia off. You said yeah, maybe Macedonia. Okay, know. all right. North Northern Macedonia, North Macedonia. I don't know. Okay, yeah, good. Tennis. There was a kid in one of my elementary school classes whose family was from Belarus. 
Hello, Rue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I like the yellow. That makes your teeth look like they're not brushed right. <laughs> well, I can't get the blue back now. I'm Pearl I lost, Marks. I lost my blue. How could you lose your blue? My blue. We went I like the blue lipstick better than I did the blue eyebrows. Yeah, I can't uh, find blue. Blue is a color you should probably wear on your lips. That's That looked nice. That's not what I thought. I kept thinking you get blue lips when you're dying. Oh, there's no oxygen in them, right? Hey, my eyebrows actually look pretty good right now. Um, Susan, yeah. I do need to talk to you. So tell me, you want to wait till afterwards? You tell me now. I'm just picking okay. out eyebrows. It's being it's recorded. Oh, it's being recorded. Should I pause it? Um. I don't think I want this on a recording, but nobody. No, let me pause. I can hit pause. Let me find the okay. pause button on yours. It's list. not a big deal. Not like it's a secret or anything. Um, I am. Wait, let me hit it. Where is the pause? I am teaching a class for the Ollie program at UNLV. Oh. Start all over. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Here we are back together. Oh In the history gosh. of the universe, no one has ever seen that thing that we just recorded. Oh part my one. gosh! Paul, can you read Whoops. the answers for us? One more time, no. read the answers while I go to while I go to the share screen. Quick, quick. Andorra, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, and you just maximize my screen. Iceland, yeah. Liechtenstein, Moldova, Monaco, Norway, San Marino, Switzerland, the United Kingdom since January thirty first, twenty twenty, and Vatican City. Very good. Um, somehow Iceland manages to be part of the Schengen area, but not part of the EU. There's a lot of the countries that are part of the Schengen yeah. oh, area yeah. and not part mm-hmm. of the EU. You guys are so smart. I, I didn't know, know, know what that area time. was, and I had to explain it to them. That's why well, I, I, could, I could listen to you say Liechtenstein all night. Yeah. I have, oh, how many people good. here have been to Liechtenstein? I had. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I could point, point it out on a map. I did. I used to work there. Account. Oh really? I'm with I you, to work Susan. On, I worked on Lichtenstein. Oh, I, I, what a lovely place it is. All right, it's 145 over yeah. here. So okay, can I get the scores here? Let's go with um, uh, toxic math. This city, <laughs> masculinity, masculinity. What a <laughs> Think See? Sylvester. Think See? Sylvester right. the cat. That's why you came up with this type, this name. That's what you get. What's your score? Blame Avi. Five. See? Avi wasn't around. Look at that. You're at 18. <laughs> <laughs> I blame Avi. All right. Occasionally evil. Nine. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Okay. So, James, that's not Mount Fuji. I looked it up. Four. Oh. Look at that. Look oh, at no, that. We had five. I think we had five. Our five are oh. Great Britain. Serbia, Albania, Moldova. Great Britain is not a country. Great Britain is not. Well, well UK. Well, UK. I would UK. accept Great Britain or England for the United Kingdom. I wrote down UK. Serbia, UK, is, Serbia, Serbia, Albania, is, Moldova, Belarus. Those are Serbia our is not a correct. Serbia country. and Albania are not on the list. Serbia was not on the list. Are you not looking Serbia, at the chat? Serbia is has a potential candidacy at this point. And I think All right. right. So that F and bitch Susan said we have to be nice. So what do we get? What do they get? Three. Oh, no, really? <laughs> I put a big circle around Serbia because I thought it was announced as being on the Okay, list. who farted? Seven. <laughs> seven. We got seven. Seven? Seven? Yes, we would have got ten if we didn't talk ourselves out of Andorra and Monaco. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. You're right, seven. I didn't count. Yeah, Serbia is currently in candidate status. Mm. Look at that. Oh, okay. So, who would have thought that who parted would be the leader? And if, if anybody's interested, there's a text document posted in the chat with, with this trivia round on it, including some links to the information. Sort of. All right. Good night, guys. Okay, so next week is the big 100, y'all. Whoa. I guess I'm going to do it. I got oh, no. I got to start writing. Can I share something real quick? Quick. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Kevin.
Can you put the scores up one more time? Yeah, I will. After, after this. Oh, he got the who farted video. Is that what that is? Yes. We're going to have to watch commercials. Oh, come on. Commercials. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah, I'm hurt. Good for her. <laughs> I've been hearing sound. We're not getting sad. Aww. Who farted in sound? the winter circle? So the so the real <laughs> horse's name is Who Farted? Yes. Who Farted, really? yeah. yeah. And it, really? when he says it, coming down the stretch, Who Farted? <laughs> who Farted coming down the stretch? Who Farted in the lead? Who Farted in the winter circle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. A bunch of children! That would have been great if the horse in second place would have been called It Wasn't Me. <laughs> How is it? That's that's just amazing. It that there who are people out there party. who have that kind of. <laughs> hey, Susan, you're not the only one who has that kind of trick played on us. <sighs> Here comes Rob. Where'd Rob go? <laughs> it was like I just let Rob in. Where did Rob go? Rob, where's the course? There's the scores. You got it. All right. I, I, just, know, I, I just I just looked back. That was the lowest score, total score since September. Wow. <clears throat> well, I Who's tried. Yeah. Who it farted? was hard tonight. It was hard. <laughs> Who farted? We Not were, us. The only <laughs> one that got a lot of back. points was um, round four, which was Kevin. A couple of tens in there. That's what did it. All right. Kevin. Night, everybody. Everybody else. Night, everybody. It's so a nice mixture. It all next week? Well, good job, Terry. Good job, everybody. I'll see you next week. You guys stay safe. Take care. 100. Oh. I hope you come back to me wherever she is. She's gone. So, so that means I could do one the week after next. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Put, put me down for the week after. Rob, yeah, put me down for the week after next. Okay. Got it. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody.